Welcome, welcome, island people. Welcome to Off the Rails. Bag of turret. You know, flaming turret. 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 Turret turd bag a flat flaming turd a bag of flaming turd today's off the rails we have such a fun episode i am so excited for our main segment today which is gonna be can you guess which crew member is high an unknown amount of crew members i'm gonna step out of the office they're not high yet so Right. Says maybe who? Dan. Yeah, Says maybe who? Dan. Maybe Dan. <laughs> An unknown amount of crew. I'm going to step out of the office. Are you guys going to, how are you guys going to ingest the, uh, you're going to, you're going to smoke a joint or something? Is that yes. the idea? Yes. Uh, we will be smoking marijuana cigarettes. Blaze. <laughs> Taking a fat bong grip, anybody? I suggested that we should do bong, and everybody vetoed me real fast. So. Because that would just be absolute mind blast. <laughs> yeah. I think I understand now why I don't like smoking weed. It's because when I first started, I didn't start with like a little puff on a on a uh, stick. I hit a. It was bong grips all day, every day. Yeah. Blast off to outer space with Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that's going zero to hundred. Wow. Quick. So. Uh, I'm going to step out. An unknown amount of crew members are going to get high, and I'm going to interrogate them one by one and try to identify who is high. Sick. Exciting. It's going to be fun. Well, today's, spon- uh, today's sponsors are Kraken, MeUndies, and Upstart. Thank you, thank you. Peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Also, this episode, if it's coming out on Thursday, the the new Yuri. Sekia collection is out. Check this out. I love this hoodie so much. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. We've been talking about it all week, so. But yeah, it comes out Thursday, 10 a.m. PST. And we're super excited, so. Set your alarm clock, people. This is a craft. I opened Teddy Fresh, but I went to this craft mayo meme with 16 likes <laughs> you know you know craft mail really fucked up collabing with what was it uh, uh barstool barstool yeah idiots man yeah so stupid no, they anyway let's not let's not dig up old trauma so First of all, a few things we're going to just do at the top of the show here. Some great stuff, too. And after the break, we're going to get right into it. You know, first of all, I want to address there's been here's someone we haven't talked about in a minute. Who would that be? Old, ye old. My former bestie. Trisha Paytas. Oh, she hasn't done anything recent, so this isn't like. But actually, I mean, like somebody, this girl, uh, contradictions of they <laughs> on TikTok, who is like, I guess, has a whole TikTok account dedicated to debunking Trisha claims and stuff. Uh, it's pretty incredible. She and and the account has a hundred thousand followers. So like, what the fuck? There's like a whole community dedicated to. Debunk, or like I said, contradictions. But the reason I'm bringing it up today is because there was a video posted yesterday that's gone like kind of viral on TikTok. And it has 3.5 million views after a day. He said I made fun of him for uh, 600,000 likes. It's about my Tourette's. And I didn't even know she she did this. She went on this podcast with uh, Jordan Belfort, the Wolf of Wall Street guy. Mm -hmm. Who's reinvented himself somehow? It's like, dude, you're a criminal, bro. Like, I don't understand how people are cool with this guy just being like, I'm an influencer now. <laughs> I made a billion dollars ripping off working class people. Now I'm an influencer. 
Told you to talk to me nice, Ethan. I mean, he's he had this whole redemption arc, right, where he, like, acknowledges that everything that he did was horrible. And Yeah, but he's still living like a million dollar house or like multi-million dollar house. Where's that money come from? Hmm. Dude still has money from it. Right. He's rich. It's obvious. So he obviously stashed, but anyway, whatever. It's not about him. It's about Trisha. And the video was really, really well put together. But the reason that I'm really annoyed, I just, I don't know if you, people who follow me on TikTok, I basically just stopped making TikToks at this point because <laughs> every fucking video I upload um, gets removed by them every time for some stupid reason. Like three out of four of my last videos got taken down. Like here, I'll show you. I may, I just made a video of me reacting to it, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I just made a video of me silently reacting to that TikTok. Here it is. And it got removed for hate speech. Against myself? <laughs> I love it. But the original's still up. So, like, I don't know if somebody over there, some James Charles Stan hate. Like, three of my last four videos were removed. Yeah, they have it up. Immediately, you. too. Like, immediately. Not like, oh, they were up for a minute. Your algorithm is actually getting crushed. There's a lot of people that complain about that, but I think this is real evidence. Well, how do you explain that the original video's up and then mine tastes down for hate speech against my fucking self? <laughs> I agree. I really do think that, it's like, your, your account has been uh, blacklisted. By somebody working well, they, on TikTok. They let me post it, and then after like 10 minutes, it's just... Right. Uh, so Look, I'm just, when they were I'm just so over it. I love TikTok, but like I just can't make anything. It's really frustrating. I can't even make videos about myself. It's like, what the fuck? Anyway, so let's watch this video. I made... By the way, the top comment is me. Thank you. Did I finally make it to Tourette Talk? <laughs> Thank you. Because Trisha, yeah, you guys know, you guys get the joke, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right, here's the video. Now, I didn't even realize she was talking about me on this podcast because, you know, after our breakup, she did like the e Ethan is a piece of shit world tour. And, uh, well, shout out to this person for, I guess, having my back. If, I don't know if that was their intention, but they did a really good job of showing. So here it is. He said I made fun of him for his Tourette's when they were clearly jokes. He Why jokes. is that a problem? I don't know. Everything was a problem once the show ended. He was like, oh, she's anti-Semitic and she made fun of my Tourette's. When we he had Tourette's? Yeah, he has he has like Tourette's, but I didn't make fun of him. Like, it's the same way he called me Does fat. Does he really have or is he just saying that to just be cool? No, I like, can't. By the way, I love that take. Yes, I'm, say I'm saying I have Tourette's to be cool and woke. As everybody well knows. Are Tourette's cool now? He's so cool. That's something that people pretend to have to be cool actually I mean, probably trisha probably would do something like that <laughs> i don't know if it's cool it's just i don't know but yeah it's great to be like woke or something i think he really has Tourette's. okay well um, that's a real problem yeah of course but once that show ended it's like she's anti-semitic she made sure, fun of yeah. my tourette's so now i'm like an ableist yeah. but it's not tourette's tourette's is like when you i have tourette's things. syndrome no tourette's is when you're like fuck this just fuck, 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 fuck. isn't that tourette's I love having a friend with Tourette's because now I can like have a soapbox or something. All your TikTok should be about having Tourette's and like, you know. I don't want my whole existence to be defined by the guy with Tourette's. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta like go for a thing that people will feel sorry for you for. Dude, Why are you so looking together. at you as like this god? Because you're just as messed up as me. I mean, you got Tourette's. So you got something like wrong OCD. with your brain it's like too. OCD. So your brain is not wired all the way, right? What? Yes. Okay. It's like blind my... leading the blind. Like you're not, you yes, see clear. Yes, it's the blind leading the blind. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I have Tourette's, therefore I'm incap I'm basically incapable of uh Yeah. Well I'm just I'm basically a vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good thing I have a care. Sure. One of the most triggering things I would say that Trisha did consistently throughout the show was tell me that I don't have Tourette's or try to tell me what Tourette's is. It's like, dude, stop. And you know, the problem with that what especially is like like People already misunderstand Tourette's. Like, it's a harmful stereotype. The people that scream obscenities are like 5% of people with Tourette's with the most severe um, 5%. Yeah, condition. And, I mean, God bless them. It's so difficult to live with that super high-end uh, Tourette's. But most people have a condition like mine. And it's a very harmful stereotype that that 
it's just, you know, everyone has the worst possible condition of it. You don't think 5% is but like why enough? Are you 5%? You said 5% of people have that kind of Tourette's. Oh. Yes. Five percent is everything. Five percent is astronomical. It's astronomical. He takes that five percent. <laughs> it's amazing how it comes down. Uh, it all comes back around to five percent. Were you setting that one up, or were you just like? No, that's a real stat. Wow, unreal. Full circle, baby. Full send, full circle. Yeah. That's right. You so much better than me. Your bread has Tourette's. <laughs> Kind of funny. <laughs> that's like your physical. That's like the bread diversion of your hand. Knowing that we're like cool and friends, like it's fun to have someone like Tourette's. Just like Moses is like my Middle Eastern. I don't. I never had a problem with Tourette's though. So I do think it's kind of cool because it's like fun. We can make Tourette jokes about the bread. Pretty epic, by the way. Moses is my Middle Eastern. I was her Muslim. You were a Muslim, man. Mm -hmm. And I was her Tourette's. Exactly. Like Pokemon for her to collect. <laughs> 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 Gotta catch them all. <laughs> and stuff i mean you're making all the jokes <gasps> oh our waiter told us tourette's tiktok is a big thing right now i forgot to tell you, you i'm not it. i'm not what? participating in that <laughs> it's people trying to finish a sentence and they can't do but it but that's not i don't have that issue but just maybe something with your hand just put it on tiktok you can write something <laughs> and see if you can write a word down without doing that Editing. come on i'm not like a fucking like paraplegic you know buddy tweak my nipples oh God, it sounds like you have actual Tourette's. I know I always bring this up, but it does sound like you have Tourette's. You have Tourette's. Like that. I mean, this is Fucking just some shitty ass listicle website. Crap. Yeah, it's garbage. Oh, Tourette's are strong it's today. It's not Tourette's. Stop. <laughs> it is because you can't control it. Oh you literally God. How can't do you control. Know? You don't know the anything. I know because you can't stop. I'm like, okay, stop reading your advertising. Just keep going with that. Because it's funny. Stop. You're out of line. Smoke that weed, baby. Yeah. It's fucking 420. He has threats. Yeah. Smoke I that weed. My he definitely has threats. Yeah. Just, just stop. 420. You don't have to about threats. Are you kidding me? Baby. Yeah. It's fucking 420. He doesn't have threats. Fuck. fuck. I'm ready to see those pussy bars on money. No Can you just stop. enjoy the video? Why do you need to diagnose his mental illness? Oh, low, low. That's like... Like retardation, not to be mean. Wait, you just called her retarded. You called Dixie mental retardation, which is like a lot of people think that's crossing the line. I have, you know, mental illness. I have some form of retardation in me. I don't think it to me it's not. An she has some form of retardation, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this I haven't seen, I think. I have some form of retardation. Trisha Paytas word i was just like oh <laughs> there's something there's a there's something off so i was like oh she danced to the n word in 2020 when it was kind of, it was just about like an off thing after i got out of the er i didn't know what to do i felt so crippled but people love a crippled in bed so it was fine it's kind of like fucking a dead person so now i'm like an ableist he said i made yeah so <sighs> it's all old news you know it's just interesting that it's going viral now but most interesting to me is that I did a hate crime on myself for basically reposting the video. So apologies to me. I'm sorry me from TikTok is protecting myself. From well, don't me. be stupid. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. Good advice. You should probably apologize to TikTok user base as well. I apologize to user, to all the TikTok community and mostly to myself for committing a hate crime on myself. I think it's maybe the Tourette talk that's reporting you. Maybe they're upset that you weren't their official representative. Maybe mm. you should have listened to Trisha. Mm. You would have been safe. Interesting. Would have been you're guarded. not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Yeah, if you guys are curious what mine looked like, I mean, it was just... Well, what bothered me, too, is people were saying I deleted it, and there was, like, conspiracy theories going around. I'm like, dude, it's not me. Fucking TikTok keeps removing it. Why is it it's literally just me watching like this. Fucking hate crime, dude. Okay. Maybe it's a hate crime on Trisha because... Nah, I'm not going to say that. Um, also, since we're talking about Trisha, I just thought, fuck it. Let's just go in for a little fucking... Just have a moment here. Sure, new music video. Dude, the production is insane. This is the teased what is it the 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 shape of water is that what this this sea critter is mm -hmm. yes yeah so she's saying the whole thing in hebrew oh we're we gonna get claimed by super bam whatever the fuck whatever i don't think maybe so. i'm pretty sure she does man the man claim manually i don't think 
So we'll definitely get claimed. <laughs> I'll just, oh God. <laughs> anyway, here, maybe I'll just do like this then. I don't need just to get, show you still. It's the visual is, yeah, is the important well, part. Well, I'm trying to promote her music video because I was going to say like, I'm just going to be nice about it. Like the production quality is insanely good. Yeah, I imagine this was a very expensive shoot. Which makes me also wonder, oh, they, I don't know how they're making money, and it makes me nervous, and they're spending a lot of money. That's making me nervous. Right, so None for my production business, costs. Though. Well, return on investment on this is going to be uh, close to zero. Astronomical. 5%. Yeah. <laughs> Not 5%. even five. They dr wish, but I'm trying to show Moses' prosthetic here. Uh, around the 37 second mark. This is such a sad state of affairs where you have to fucking comb through stills. Here, I'll show a brief clip here. <laughs> oh my God. And she did it all in Hebrew. Oh. Wait, what happened? Oh, you muted it? Yeah. That's such a shame. It's definitely going to get claimed. It only has 50,000 views. I mean, what what? what <laughs> But anyway, like, yeah, they did a full body prosthetic on Moses that looks incredible. So I want to give a shout out. You know, they went all out for it, but I'm very concerned about their finances. I know it's none of my business, but um, what would you say? This is like a $200,000 shoot, I'd say. Um, it, it could be easily. I mean, uh, water shooting, the makeup, the rain, the uh, lightning. I mean, the location. I mean, getting uh, unless they didn't get permitted, but it, I mean, it seems like no, a very they professional. Do. Shoot, yeah, they get so, permitted. Well, yeah. So I mean, you know, shooting on. Uh, That's on right beaches. on Santa Monica Beach. Is it? Yeah, with you can the... see Santa Monica in the background. Oh, okay. At one point, with all those rocks, I thought it was further uh, up the coast. But... I see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is night shots, that night lighting and everything. There, what do you I mean? think of that is? Yeah, I guess you might be right. But I mean, shout out to the production team, but I don't fucking see <laughs> the how they make I don't see how they're making a dime on this shit. I mean, with Oh my god. And that 5% ain't what it used to be, I'll tell you that. Not many people watching Frenemies these days. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah you're 5%. It's not what it used to be. Yeah. No, no, no. It doesn't pay for this. 5%. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm going to upvote it. See? Olive branch. Okay. Olive branch. And in fact, I'm going to promote it. Go watch the video, too. Because they're going to be bankrupt if you don't. They're going to lose everything if you don't go watch this video. <laughs> Yeah. In fact, are there any clear shots of of the makeup? I really just want to see. It's it hard. It's, it's hard. I know. I'm trying to find here. It's in the beginning. Two sixteen. Here, let's just watch the thing. Kind of a spicy little. I like that that uh, island boy. It has beat. island vibes. I was about to say. The big island vibe. Look at this. This is crazy production, dude. Super high level shit. Yeah, and there's a shot of him on the beach. It's full body prosthetic. Like, he has a whole back prosthetic. It's insane, man. Yeah, I mean, the prosthetics itself, too. Never mind, like, the makeup artist to actually paint it and everything. Uh, be very, very expensive. Here, you see that? That's the yeah. shot I was talking Yeah. Anyway, there you have it. And in Hebrew, too, for I don't know why. I don't know who that's for. Like, who is that for? State of Israel, of course. Who the fuck huge hit is looking there. for Hebrew music? Two! Jesus, what was that? I believe that was Trisha screaming Jew. I mean, Jew, Jew yeah. What was the context of her screaming Jew? Uh, I believe it was during the... Uh... Um, the episode where you guys were driving in the car. And there was a menorah on a lawn. Yeah. Oh, and she just screamed Jew? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Classic moment. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, dude, the only people that scream Jew when they see Jewish paraphernalia are fucking Nazi soldiers. Like, who does? I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not calling her, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I, like that's what I was trying to explain to her is like, you're 
fascination with Jewish people is only shared with Nazis. Uh, peace and love, peace and love. Thank you, Trisha. Good luck on your music video. Island Boys Remix. The Island Boys, my dudes. We have Island Boy updates. We have huge island updates. Shout out to the island. Huge island updates. My friends, love. Love, first of all. Are you with us, love? I am. You are the island boy. I mean, you were the first to come out of the closet as a fan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, well, you somehow arranged last night, in the middle of the night, fucking Swedish time, you got on the Instagram live with the Island Boys. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, well, I got some connects in the rap rap business, so you know they connected me with the Island Boys. No, and, no. yeah, there. But seriously, how did how did this happen? Well, okay, so for real, uh, I paid them thirty bucks to make give me a shout out on their Instagram, and um, then later I saw they were streaming, and uh, I, I thought I have to try to come in, and they invited me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Did you ever get the shout out? Yeah, but it I don't know. It, I, I had to kind of threaten them a little bit because uh, they, they dipped on me for a while when I sent the money. How do you threaten them over the internet? What do you say? Well, I kind of... I kind of pulled some strings, you know, said I was with the H3 podcast. and uh, <laughs> You leveraged your uh, your connections, huh? Well, I had to. I mean, there, it was, there was 30 bucks on the line, so, yeah. 30 bucks is everything. Yeah. Who's going to, how else are you going to pay the hosting fees on uh, Ethan's feet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, I need that money. By the way, what's Ethan's feet up to? I haven't checked up on that. Uh, not a lot nowadays. Hmm, shame. Let's check Traffic is slowing down. Well, let's do something about that. Cookies? Now you're tracking my cookies, bro? What kind of... The best well, food now I'm doing it legally. Before <laughs> I was doing it illegally. So wait, wait, wait. Is this accurate? 2,100? Yeah. That... Nice. Um, yeah. Has, has Cam got his cut? In two months. Has Cam got his cut yet? Cam actually forfeited his cut. Oh. I tried to send it to him. But it's going to good so, uses, guys. It's going to good uses. Interesting. Yes, sir. Yeah. He's building a game or some shit. <laughs> I don't know. I am, yeah. He's up to some kind of... You know what? Shredder does have good... Shredder has cute feet. Like, he deserves to be on here. Shoe size 100? Wow. <laughs> Look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> it's a big... It's a close-up of Shredder's foot. <laughs> Look at this. It's so funny. It's a close-up of Shredder's feet. That's the best. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's such a... That's the best foot shot ever. Oh my god. Skate park. What is that a reference to something? Skate park? Yeah. What are you looking at? It says birthplace. birthplace skate park. Oh, I didn't write that. Who wrote that? Oh, because he no. shreds, of course. Oh, you're oh you're, are you setting up a joke for me? What was that? <laughs> no, I th these are These are all user soldiers. Yeah, this is user yeah. generated. Oh, content. so a user put those in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see Alfredo feed pics. Dude, those are cute feed pics. <laughs> That's the best. I love this. Feed pics of dogs is my favorite thing. Birthplace fettuccine. Fettuccine, huh? Come on. So, um, anyway, here's the uh, conversation. Enjoy. Yeah. Hell yeah, ma. I'm a crappy. Say Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you do exactly? Uh, video editing. Okay, okay, yeah, I knew you was behind the scenes type guy. Hey, but what's yeah, it yeah. What, what, um, why bro was hating on me and my brother like that? <laughs> Come on, live with this nigga, bro. Yo. Yeah, why? Why was? Why was it? Um, why was he hating on us? The the guy with the beard. The guy. The guy with the gray in the. Black. Let's talk about Dan the hater, of course. Well, hold on. He says the guy with the gray right here. Did you hear that? Oh, shit. But I, I'm a fan. I know. I think he is talking about Bean, but he might have just confused us a little bit. Yeah. It's confusing. Yeah. Because I, I'm an island boy. I, you are definitely yeah, an island boy. Yeah, he knows you're an island boy. Okay, yeah, yeah. good. I just want, I don't want him to think that I'm a hater. Right, right, right. It's the furthest thing from the truth. Love, I can't help but notice you're doing some of the same movements that they do. I saw you grabbing your chin and doing all that. 
That's yeah, a, I'm trying to like blend in. You know? Yeah, it's it a Sigma move. To okay. the, it's called yeah, mirroring. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I I put on notifications on on their Instagrams, and I got the notification at 7 a.m. in the morning, and I was Rise just grind, about to baby. go to bed. Um, so I, just as, as as I went to bed, I had to go up again and like put clothes on. Yeah, but this is an emergency. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was Thank worth you, it. Thank you, bro. Thank you for yeah. doing that. It's oh, muted. It's so stupid. It's like I player. play it and then it mutes it. It doesn't Freaking make any sense. Freaking Reddit moment. He's a hater, right? <laughs> yeah, man. But did you see the robot in the back? That was me. Oh, that was you? Yeah. Oh, uh, above his shoulder. I said you was fire, man. I love <laughs> the island boy. I'm trying to wonder who is he in the show because I know who the guy with the ashy here. He's been on YouTube forever. He's kind of he, Oh, yeah. I'm, he's always been popular. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're all like, uh, like. We all help uh, behind the scenes, and we all like do the show together. Uh, and, uh, Ethan is. Hold the, the phone. Are they just re? What is this on the bottom left? <laughs> They're just replaying the video over and over. No, I think. I think that's, that's another. A, I think that's a fourth person in the call, and they just are oh. showing a screen with it for whatever reason. Oh, okay, okay, cool, hype man shit. Main dude, and we kind of just help the. Yeah, Ethan, that's the thing. Yeah. Is he still, yeah. Still, yeah, is, is oh, yeah. he still with his wife? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, is he trying to make a move? <laughs> okay, Elo. yeah, I, re I remember. I re is he trying to make a move on Ela? <laughs> Yo, is your wife single, bro? It seems like he uh, is a somewhat of a fan. Well, like, me too. The he's, feeling, the he's feeling is, is mutual. Yeah, he was aware of your videos. He he knows you know you were partnered up with Ela, so love him for that. He's got dropping knowledge. I remember them on YouTube when I was like a little kid and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's cool. Well, yeah, so now, you, so now, so now, and hey, that's kind of lit. Now, now they're reacting to me and stuff like that. Yeah, we'd but, love to have you on. I'm sure, I'm sure you can come on if you want to chat. Yes, love. Hey, hey, what's it called? Tell him. I'd love to do like a, a little interview with um with yes. Ethan and stuff yes. like that. With yes, me yes, and my yes, 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 yes. Like that, that'd be lit. Actually, sure, and sure, maybe sure. a live performance. Just wait. wait what are they? What he says? Are they in Miami? Hmm. Yeah. So we can do a we can do a Zoom call with an interview and live performance. Yeah, let's get let's get some island vibes in the studio. Oh, this is the dream. And yeah. since since they seem to be interested in this, I'll just say you know I, I was I was hating on you guys, um, and you know it, the island vibes weren't weren't really clicking with me, but I can't lie, it's such an earworm. I've these guys can all test. I've been singing Island Boy in the island studio for the boy, last two Island Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Love. So Love is a fucking, he is a true Island Boy. He actually is the first person ever to transcribe the lyrics. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Did it's you put these all. online somewhere? Like on, on, on Genius. Yeah, Genius. No, genius. not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, you got to get that some Because I'm an Island Boy and I've been trying to make it. Been, I don't even know how to hit their cadence, man. The, uh, you need to hear it at the same the time. The time signature of the song is is actually really advanced. We were talking about <laughs> yeah. this too, that it's it's kind of progressive. That's what I'm it's saying. It's like progressive island music. I was trying yeah, to flip actually. flip the beat, you know, add a, a, yeah. a tune behind it, but these guys are just way too advanced. It's like it. it's like avant-garde jazz almost. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's, like, it's in 4-4, four, four, and the then beat. there's five beats, and yeah. then it's like Pro four and a half beats. Progressive reggae. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. wild. Nah, no cap. And we yeah. we'll freestyle for him and everything like that. Freestyle. I, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I mean the Isle of Boy stuff, dude. That shit is fire. That shit is literally so fire. <laughs> oh, appreciate you're, that, bro. That's you're love, not even bro. lying. I really though. appreciate. It. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Cool. So what's what are you are you like? Are you in the UK or in Australia? No, no, I'm from Sweden. I'm from Sweden. <laughs> oh, this is the best. Oh my bad. Do you get offended when <laughs> I see <laughs> people clip? <laughs> offended? I don't know. Oh yeah, you you don't be getting pressed a lot, huh? No, no. That nigga be chilling. Yo, did you know Sweden? Sweden is the country with the most uh, islands in the world. I I I actually didn't know that. Did we actually touch numbers in, in Sweden? Do you know that? What was that? Did we touch numbers in Sweden? Touch numbers? What the, I don't are they what popular? Means, man. Like, did did people do people do you touch numbers anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> the they fact that you threw out the Wait. factoid about Sweden <laughs> the most islands in the world. Well, the you know, it's a flex world. that he didn't really register. Yeah. Because what I think you're trying to say is that I'm the island boy. Yeah. And so, I, yeah. And in and, and commemoration of this moment, 
I have a, the new nickname. I'm the hairline king. Mm-hmm. Love is the island king. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Man. The island king. It's the island Jarl, dude. They're, they're Jarls in, in Nordic culture. You prefer island Jarl or island king, love? Uh, I prefer Arlen King, I think. Actually. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll enough. give the choice to Immaculate you. Immaculate feet. My feet liege. <laughs> my liege. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Should I keep watching this or do we get the, the gist? Oh. Um, no, it's in Sweden. Me and my brother. Me and my twin. I think, yeah, from TikTok, I'm sure a, a bunch I of people it's... know you. From the island boy? Oh, yeah. Well, we got to get them on. I want a live performance. I want to know everything about them. And, uh,. Do you want to ask them about the the ass eating next to each other? Sure. I mean, I don't know what's there to to ask. I mean, the boys eat ass together. Just if that makes them uncomfortable, maybe to Clearly. just like be that close to your sibling. Eating well, ass. I'd like to know more stories. I'm sure. Apparently, they had a reputation in high school for eating ass. Yeah, uh, we might. Um... And so does Zach. So there's no hip problem with that. Uh, yeah, I'm not criticizing the ass eating in of itself. It's more so the the doing the act in such close proximity to a, a blood relative that well, makes they're me twins, a little bro. uncomfortable. It's, uh, you eat ass together. Ass. Here is the Island King. Fuck yeah. Fuck what, yeah. We got to do something about the hair, though. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. You got to get an that. Island King. Should we play the original just because maybe some people don't remember? Yeah, you, you, it's so easy to sing along if you have the lyrics and hear the song. So the let's try it. Here, send me the link and then let's try to sing along here. Sick. Yep. A little cover. We're dropping Good a little Good job, cover love. That, that, that was such a treat uh, that, that that all came together and now we have a connection. Do you, do you have a connection with them like to communicate now, love? Yeah. You got the mutual follow? No, they only follow 10 people, so that's kind of exclusive. But, you know, I'm getting there. Okay. So you we'll have their there. email, though, or how do, you, how do you communicate with them? Well, Alan Boys, we do Instagram, Instagram DMs only. Right. Wait, I thought you said they don't follow you. Oh, you do like the... Oh, uh, the uh, they're not verified, so... Yeah, okay. Someone going to send me that link? I sent it. Thank you, AB. Thank you. Thank you. So for anyone that missed our previous show, uh, this is the Island Boys. And I'm going to try to sing along here and give homage to the Kings. The this is crying That's right what now. I'm saying. Absolutely. It's yeah. really, it's really the pushing the limits on. of what, I'm what rap can be. I'm boy. put my vest on, yeah. Like a wild one man trying to make it to the top. I'm an island boy. I've been trying to make so, it. I ain't seen it with a guy. Go ahead. This next uh, part is really interesting. If you can bring up the uh, <laughs> lyrics on screen, maybe. Cause okay, sure. May I did Someone sent me an I image. So you want to see if you got the, the transcri transcription right? Yeah. Because okay. this, this part is really tricky. Okay, interesting. So A, see me with the gang gang slang. You ain't just mm -hmm. saying no cane. All right, let's, let's see. Here we go. Gang gang slang, you ain't just slang no kind. And through the storm, through the rain, cause we try home like a lion. From a lion, lion, boy, lion. From the Caribbean. Cause we, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we gotta get this right. Cause we try and home like a lion. Yeah, I think you're oh. right. Here, let's, let's. Let's just correct that. Before this, is, we... this is an image. I can't edit this text. I'm just saying, like, we need to, we can't disrespect the island boys and submit. <laughs> The wrong lyrics, so we need to fix this ASAP. Okay, got for it. sure. I really struggled with that last one. Oh shit! I want to see if everything else is right. Oh, what is YouTube? Uh, what, whoa, 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 wait! What is YouTube closed caption it like? <laughs> Yo, they got it right. Rain, cause we tried home like a lion. Right. What is from the story? An they're island going? boy from the Caribbean. What is this story oh, yeah. they're trying to tell? That's I think this is why this song is good because you can't understand what they're saying. Because I've seen their other shit and the words are fucking. I mean, but they still chose those words. You know what I mean? It's a freestyle. Well, it's a freestyle, so right. it could just be. Wait, what wait, wait. This ain't no. to rhyme. This is a stream of consciousness. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think this was planned? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so now you agree think to disagree planned. on that? Why? No, I always thought this was a planned song. I also I believe it. it is a freestyle. I got it. I got the it. The original yeah. videos. 
mentions that it's supposed to be a freestyle. Yeah, yeah but freestyle and rap yeah, means they right, write it. Right. Majority of rappers. Yeah, when they we'll, say... We'll have to ask them. Let's ask. Well, Let's they're going to say that it's not. They're going to say it was improvised. And then because I'll we drive home like a lion from an island boy. Yo, from the Caribbean. dude, YouTube transcription is perfect. Wait, oh, it just said music on that one. Well, it, that was in Spanish, so it might have struggled. Wait, do they say best on? Best on, yeah. Oh, I thought you... they say vest on. <laughs> Wait here, maybe this will help you. Let's watch the go. This is. I'm sorry to anyone who doesn't find this interesting, but this is fucking fascinating that YouTube was able to transcribe this. Here. And I've been trying to make. Oh, I'm an island boy. I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. Yo, are you seeing this love? Kiwi white wine. Oh keep that gun. I'm staring at the sun. I'm using a full gaze in. I'm staying. I'm staying. What? It's you want to be famous? How did they know that? It's pretty good. How long? How long did you spend transcribing this love? No, I don't know. There, Google is up to something. Yeah, we got there are island boys over there. Right. I'm staying. Dude, when I put in Love's transcription, I found one website that has it, but I needed Love's transcription to find it. Okay. Wait, wait. This is we're unlocking new lyrics here, Love. Are you watching this? It's completely <laughs> yeah. different than what you wrote. Like 100 percent different. <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm staying like. You want to be famous. So I'm going to be out the greatest. I'm going to float the greatest. Oh boy. I'm going to oh float. Oh my God. Down that, that I, got a, I also didn't get. I'm a float. I wrote auto greater. I'm a float. Oh boy. I got a real I'm damn tropic. I'm a tropic. Uh -huh. I'm an island boy. I put my vest. Yeah, that one, it said <laughs> Islam boy. Which I don't think <laughs> that meant. I'm an Islam boy. Put on my vest. That's, oh, well, and that's, so, yeah. It's when the other dude is singing too. All right, let's move on. I think people had enough Island Boy shenanigans. We're actually at uh, 37 minutes if you want to go to a break. <sighs> we just talked like 20 minutes about Island Boys, but there's one last cherry on top. Okay. We're getting remixes now. I feel like we just own the rights now to the remixes. we got to just sell this. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. This is really good. This is like the garage two-step remix. You like it, Olivia? I do like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit's hype as hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We have created yeah. a new market. Well, sh shout out to Kodiak Red and Fly Soldier. Shout out. Wait, who made this remix? I should give them a shout out. This was by uh, iMark. I Marquez here you can see his YouTube. Marquez remix. Shout out to his family. Um if you guys have any other island remixes, let's keep them coming, bro. All right, well Wait, yeah, I think you showed the wrong thing. I think there's there's another Island Boy remix. That's what you just opened. Wait, I, how did I possibly open? You cuz there's two here. I think oh. you opened the one you... I don't know if you realized that there's another Island Boy remix already. Wait, I opened this Oh, yeah, see, this hell? is the one we just listened to. So shout out to VNTA Look. Wait, so there's two remixes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, let's go to a break. We'll be right back. We got a few more topics, and then we are going to get blazed. Guys, if you're interested in investing in cryptocurrencies but aren't sure where to get started, go to the Kraken app. With Kraken, you can buy and sell over 50 of the most popular cryptos like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Ethereum on the go 24-7. It's super easy to get started. Just download the app, create your account, and you're going to be investing in minutes. One of the coolest things about buying crypto through, the, through Kraken is that you don't need a lot of money to try it out. So even if Bitcoin is worth 40K, today it's worth over 60, man. All-time high today, right? Like 65? Yeah. You can buy as little as $10 worth on Kraken just to get your feet wet. See how you like it. Find out for yourself why Kraken has been one of the highest rated places to buy crypto for the last 10 years. Friend of the show. We love these guys. Please support Kraken. Uh, visit kraken.com slash h3 now or learn more. 
to learn more or search for Kraken in the App Store. Thank you, thank you to Kraken. We love you. Dan, are you afraid of the dark? Absolutely. Well, now you can wear glow-in-the-dark underwear to help you feel a little more at ease, my dude. Oh, thank God. Yeah. It's me and these Halloween just dropped. Just dropped dead, that is. Woo! You don't want to wait for this one because uh, you're going to get ghosted if you don't get there in time. And with five new prints to turn up the terror, you should summon them before it's too late. Guys, me undies, it's the comfiest undies in the game. I love this ship. It's soft, it's breathable. It's such an upgrade on all the underwear we're used to wearing. The Hanes comes with like 20 pairs for like two bucks. Uh, you know, and they're all torn up and ragged. It's the same shit your mom bought you in high school. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's time to upgrade, guys. It's time, come on. This is the real deal. You're going to love this. Whether you're out running a killer or being abducted by aliens this Halloween, be comforted by the fact that your underwears are sustainable and the softest in town. Meandies are made from natural fibers sourced from beechwood trees, making their micromodal fabric soft, breathable, and dangerously cozy. Get your spooky seasons up with haunting and five new prints. I see you, my boo, tricks and treats, lazy bones and lazy pumpkin. Available in undies, bralettes, socks, loungewear, in sizes extra small through 4XL. And there's a lot of options to consider. But make a decision quickly because there's somebody right behind you. Uh, Me Undies has got a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchase, you get 15% off and free shipping. And they've also got a promise for you. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, you can return your order for a full refund within 45 days. Boom. Risk free, baby. Get 50% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed at MeUndies.com slash H3. That's MeUndies.com slash H3. Thank you. Thank you. What would you do if you didn't have high interest loans or credit card debt? With Upstart, you can start paying off existing debt quickly and easily and start living your life. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit scores alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. And you can check out your rate without impacting your credit score too within minutes. For loans between $1,000 to $50,000, and you're even gonna receive, receive your funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash H3. That's upstart.com slash H3. Don't forget to use our URL, please, to let them know we sent you. Loan amount will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan ap application. That's upstart.com slash H3. Okay, boys, here's the deal. We're, we're, we're going to do this segment now. And then, uh, I guess, throw the dice on the rest of the show afterwards as the whole crew is blazed. So here's the deal. I'm going to walk out. Island vibes, island boys. <laughs> A certain number, but more than one person. Wouldn't that be funny if we just, this was all Nobody, bullshit? Everybody Nobody's sober. Smokes. Yeah. Or everybody's high. More than one person is going to smoke. I'm going to bring them to my desk and interrogate them. And see if I can figure out which one of these guys is blazed. I smoke marijuana so I don't beat my <laughs> wife and children. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, by the way, funny thing here. My our community is the only one where they'll post a dream blunt rotation oh my God. that doesn't it's include so me. <laughs> Nobody wants to smoke with me, even on my own subreddit. <laughs> How is this even related to us? Why does this have 800 points? It's my subreddit. And I'm not in the dream blunt rotation. <laughs> that really is brutal. Very sad. You said you get anxious. Yeah, I mean, anybody that's a true fan knows that you're not into weed. So maybe they're just taking that into account. and not They don't know if these guys smoke. You think Rhett and Link blaze? No. 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 Maybe. 
I'm just saying, it, you know, it's like, uh, come on now, guys, you hurt my feelings over here. Rhett's the one. Rhett's the the one with the long hair, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I could see him being a star. Link, maybe not. He's a little more clean cut. He's well, they were always, more... until recently, very devout Christians, which is why I think no. Oh, but they left the church. I didn't know actually. that about them. Yeah, they, they left the church. Both of them. Yeah, really interesting good story. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, at any rate, I'm going to step out now and let the blazing begin. The audience will not know who's high either, right? Yeah. Uh, not until the reveal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to step outside and we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. So there's a certain amount of people who are high and I'm very... I have already have my suspicions. Cameron, for example, went straight to the snack drawer. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. All right. Enough shenanigans. Let's get straight to the cut to the chase here and play. Guess who's high? Now I'm feeling like I'm gonna get a hundred percent right. Feeling confident. Let's start with Cam because that motherfucker is blasted. Cameron, glasses off. Get it. Get over here. We're doing no glasses. No glasses. I got. Right. I got to see the window to the soul. <laughs> All right. Cam, glasses off. Thank you. So, first of all, let me get a good look at your face here. Not too bloodshot, but you've got a grin on your face that uh, might be giving you away. You went straight for the snack drawer. Were you hungry before you went outside? or Yeah, or it's a bit of, you know, just being out there worked up the appetite a little bit, you know. What snack did you grab? I got a, uh, what was it, like an apple pie granola bar thing. Mm. It was good. A little sweet treat? Yeah. How often do you smoke? When, uh, pretty often, I guess. Oh, know, okay. Like okay. a few times a week. Okay, so that yeah. that's interesting to know. Yeah. Here, I have a list of questions for you. I'm going to test your aptitude here. What animal do you most identify with and why? Sorry, Alfredo's licking me under here. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I got a couple. Um, I like penguins because they're, they like the cold and they like to the slide around. Sounds like fun. And I also like ring-tailed lemurs because I like horizontal stripes so mm -hmm. i feel like i'm leaning more towards the uh ring-tailed lemur the lemur yeah takes that okay you like the stripes and they also kind of they often have like a uh look of concern and anxiety on their face so I kinda, how often you look at lemurs i like to draw them sometimes oh you know. draw them yeah right i mean i like to look artist. at okay. animals and stuff yeah um what superpower do you wish you had oh man that's a tough one uh be cool to have like super strength and stuff. It'd be fun. Super strength? Yeah. Why do you want super strength? You know, you should be super strong. I don't right. much to say. It speaks for itself. Right. You have fantasies about like saving people and stuff like that? I don't know. Punching through walls? Sure. Why not? I think everybody wants to be a hero at some points, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Do you ever? I'll ask the question. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Um, let's see. Tell me, um, what would colors taste like? What would red taste like if you could taste a color? Probably, I feel like red, I mean, this is a classic one, I guess. Red would be a little spicy, I guess. You know? Spicy? Okay, yeah, interesting. Association with, uh, how much did, And how much did you smoke when you were outside? I, not at all. None? Uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe a lot, maybe a few pops. Okay, I mean, listen, I, I'm not, it, I'm on the fence. I, okay. You sounded pretty confident when you called him down. Yeah, because yeah. for some reason when he walked in, he gave me this like, this shit eating grin and wait for, straight for the snacks. <laughs> and then I was like, you're definitely high. And he gave me a look like. What makes you think, I mean, I know you're asking the questions, but what makes you go on the fence now about it? Do I seem lucid? Do I seem uh, coherent? Yeah, okay. seem more, but I don't know how much you guys smoked. Is it like, is would it be enough to blast someone, or are we talking like a subtle, nice high? Like, if you compare this to how high you get at home, how would this compare? This is a loaded question. This man. is a trick question. Uh, That's a total trick yeah. question. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah so how, trip them up. So how would you compare? I mean, I feel like I've got a fairly decent tolerance. You know, okay. I'm not like the an iron lung, but you know, I'm okay. middle ground. Okay, you know. all right. So I got a guess. Now. You got to make a verdict. <laughs> All right. Well, 
I would say if you are high, you performed well. Awesome. That being said, I think you're high. Okay, lock in that answer. You got that, AB? I guess we'll, re- in. We'll, we'll, we'll reveal it at the end. At the end, we'll reveal it. Oh, I'm going to be so... Hmm. What do you think about my guess? <laughs> I, I think we'll have to him. wait and find out. He's pretty slick. He didn't let me trip him up on stuff. <laughs> Did you feel shady out there in the alleyway? Did I feel shady? No, yeah. I mean, I felt, felt at home out there in the alleyway. Around okay, Washington. okay, interesting. Bro, are you fucking high right now? Yeah. All right, thank you, Cam. Thank you. All right, good performance. Either way, solid performance, but I don't know. Something tells me this man is high. Something tells me. Okay. AB, get over here. Let's see. Jealous oh, he's right scared now. of Shredder. He's he's more scared of Shredder than usual. I'm always were afraid you, of Shredder. Were you, you seemed a little startled by Shredder lunging at you there. It's because I'm high. No, I'm playing. Um, how often do you smoke? I don't. Um, maybe once a year. And then oh. I always regret it. Oh. Okay. Remember, he's, he's told stories on the show before. So you're like me. Wait, the, yeah, the infamous way. bongo story yeah. Correct. was one of them. Yes. So you could be having what you, I mean, if you smoke today, you could be having probably a bad, you'd be having one another story to tell, just a horrible moment. Right. Vietnam flashbacks. Hmm. Did you feel shady out there smoking in the hallway? A uh, little bit. Yeah. It was a little surreal, though, to be smoking with the H3 crew, so. Yeah, I think my simpness was covering up. You was, you were aware of how cool it was to Correct. be with legendary crews such as Dan. Mm-hmm. It's a high thought, mm. or a simp thought. Yeah. Um, what's your greatest phobia and why? Is it being high on the on the H three podcast? <laughs> this right now. Yeah. Not playing. Um, I don't know. Greatest phobia. Dying without putting out any videos. It sounds cheesy, but that's my biggest fear. Dying without putting out videos? Yeah, just like making stuff, like making short films or things like that. Because I... I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm very critical of myself, and I like making videos I have since I was a kid, even if it's just for fun, and I... Never end up putting stuff out. Your so. passion is making videos. Yes, and if I die before I actually, but you already it. put out videos. Well, not like more videos. Not like YouTube videos. I mean, like you know, short projects that I'm proud of. Just keep it going. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And does that mean that this work is not fulfilling enough for you? Are you planning <laughs> on? No, this work is very fulfilling for me. Yeah. It's a side thing. It's not for. This is a side thing. No, my videos are a side thing. It's not to live off of or anything like that. It's just something I like doing. I don't play video games, so. Except bon- except Donkey Kong. Except Donkey Kong, Kong, Kong yes. Hmm. That might have scared him off. It. Interesting. Game Can, do we have the drums? Can we bring him the drums? The bongos? Yeah. I, they're his personal. I think they're at home. They're at home. At home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I burned them after that episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. What is your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. I like Celine Dion. Celine Dion. She did the. Uh, My heart will go on. That one. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite album of hers? Um, I don't know. I don't know her albums to be honest. So why is she your guilty pleasure? It's just I don't know. I went to her concert once because my wife's uncle gave us free tickets and that shit hit me. I don't know. I felt it. Here's Celine Dion. Oh, it's just self-titled. That one. That's my favorite. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? What is this story? Are you All high, right. bro? All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna I, again. It's a tough one. Eyes look fine, but I don't know if I'm just. I'm on the. I feel like everybody's high. Hmm. I feel like everybody's high. That's a paranoid thought, Ethan. Maybe you're high. I'm not mm. high. <laughs> What's five times five times four? Five times five, 25 times four is 100. Minus 73. 27. Plus five. 32. Minus seven. (laughs) 
<laughs> this motherfucker is high, dude. Come on. I don't even remember the numbers. What are the numbers? He was doing I, good on that. He's I mean, he answered instantly. You, it was like five questions in a row. You lost me. Hey, come I'm on. Impressive. If you're sober, that's easy. I'm stupid. How do you feel now? No <laughs> <way>. <laughs> is being stupid a protected class now? Yeah. According to that video. AB's high. That's it. I'm locking it in. You're locking in the answer? Okay. Yeah. All right. Answer locked. And you got, can I just ask a question? Are all of you high? You can't ask a question. No. I the feel like you no. guys would do that shit to me where everybody. No, we didn't high. do that to you. Okay. Or did we? And I believe there's different levels of blazed. Somebody ripped harder. I feel like a couple may have. <sighs> a couple or a few? <laughs> I definitely. What are these meta like. questions? <laughs> all right, Dan, get over You're here. You're breaking the rules. Dan, tough guy. Dan, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm gonna come. So Dan, Dan is. I feel like Dan is responsible in what he would be like. I'm not gonna get high during the show because someone has to be here. And we were on our way out. Dan goes, okay, but just one. He's telling everybody, if you're high, just make sure. If you're the one, just don't hit it too hard because we have a show to do. So that's true. But of yeah, all the together, of all the people here, I feel like you could keep it together the most under influence. There is that X factor, isn't there? Is your mouth dry? My mouth is always dry. Really? Yeah, it's kind of like a consistent problem. Probably from the smoking. It's dry when you're not smoking? Yeah, it just... That's why I'm drinking water constantly. We all drink water, Dan. It's a prerequisite for life. Okay. That's true. See, I feel like Dan's high, too. Mm. This is Dan's water. He always has this by him, just so you know. We're all drinking water, man. It don't mean shit. That's true. That's true. How long have you been smoking? Since I was like 15 or something. Never stopped? No, I mean, for some periods of time here yeah. and there, but I would say pretty consistently since that age. And are you in like a, in a heavy usage? Uh, a, 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 no, uh, not right now. No? No. I'd still smoke use weed it for, every day. <laughs> that's right. Still smoke pretty consistently, but definitely not like when I was in my 20s. I see. Like, I was an everyday smoker for a long time. You don't smoke every day now? No. Like a weekend thing or like a week? Mostly oh. weekends. Sometimes during the week, I don't know, three, kind of like what Cam said, probably like two to three times a week, something Let's like see. that. I know, I can't say everybody's high, but I feel like Dan's high. Mm. I, don't, I gotta stop. I gotta stop saying everyone's high. Dan, ta what's five times three plus five? 15, 20. Times five? 100. <laughs> Minus 50. 50. Plus three. 50 three. times three. 53 times 3, uh, 100 and <laughs> 159. Okay. Checks out. Checks out. If you could live in a cartoon, which cartoon would you be in? In a cartoon? Well, see, where my mind immediately goes, the cartoons that I think of wouldn't actually be that enjoyable to be in, hmm. you know, like, dystopian berserk. settings or something. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to no, be in the world fuck. of Berserk. Yeah. Uh, so I, I would have to go with something kind of wholesome. I don't know. I guess world of... Can I just be in like the world of Looney Tunes? Like, you want to be a Looney Tunes character? I mean, a fucking... Hell yeah. Not one of the old racist ones. No, definitely not one of those. Okay. Just check. <laughs> one of the more check wholesome, uh, you know, duck season, rabbit season, let's say. Because Looney Tunes was pretty violent. You think Wile E. Coyote. But it's, but it's so cartoon. It's like it's like in Roger Rabbit, you know, you just turn into a pancake and then you can like pop right back up. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Or maybe let's say, um, you know what would be nice? Totoro. The Miyazaki movie. Totoro's a beautiful place. Yeah. It's yeah. just like... Nice kind of Totoro is a beautiful token. place. You got like really nice little forest spirits coming along, and who who's, that cat bus seems like really soft too. So who's in your nightmare blunt rotation? <laughs> My nightmare <laughs> blunt rotation. Uh, oh shit! I mean, I, I guess Henry Kissinger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, Dan, you're sober. Get out of here, right. Henry Kissinger. Dan sober. I got to do it on something. I feel like he's high in my heart of hearts, but I'm going to say sober. <laughs> Damn. This is hard. I will note he did trip on the way back to his seat. <laughs> you may have missed. already locked in your answer, though. You're fucking high, bro. I knew it. You knew it. Because I tripped? No, I didn't actually trip. I just kicked one of the wires on the way back. Mm -hmm. Olivia, you want to come over here? 
Olivia, ladies and gentlemen. Olivia, everybody. Olivia, everybody. Are you a frequent smoker, Olivia? Um, yeah. Yeah. Times a week. Okay. Okay. Wow. Bunch of bless potheads here. That makes sense. Tell me, let's tell the people about yourself. You're a new crew member. Uh, so uh, you have a lot of fans. People are very nice to me. Yeah. Yeah. I am 22. Mm-hmm. I'm from Los Angeles. Shout out. Big fan of the H3 podcast. Pound it. What's up? <laughs> uh, sent emails. Did you know this? I sent emails for like a full year to the podcast email. And then I did. I, yeah, I did. Did you guys know that? I actually didn't know. Huh. I sent Zach an email that he always talks about. He d has no idea how I found his personal email. She found my personal Wait, how'd you email? find it? It was linked in his Instagram, but he says it bullshit. wasn't. Well, how'd she find it then, Zach? Yeah, how would I find it? Dude, I don't know. Well, you clearly did have it in your Instagram. Never once. I, I've always had my work email, but never my personal. <laughs> Interesting. I think she you're wrong. <laughs> she got it somehow. Yeah. I don't know why you're smoking, dude. Mm. <laughs> or not. Do your parents know you smoke? They do. Okay. Interesting. Um, tell me, who is in your nightmare blunt rotation? Do I just name a bunch of people I hate? Yeah. Okay. Basically. Hi, <laughs> um, sisters. Oh, for sure, James is in mine. James is on my hit list. Oh, shit. I was Shred. a big fan. You were a fan. I was of a James. fan of everybody, and then they turned out to be terrible people. You were a fan of James. You were a fan of Shane. Mm -hmm. Were you a fan of Jeffrey? Not as much. Not as much. Huge fan of Trisha. Right. We all were. Yeah. Sam was too, man. Yeah. But those people, I would say. I don't want to yeah, hurt any feelings. <laughs> Yeah. I doubt James is going to see this, so that's okay. Is your mouth dry? My mouth is always dry. That's fucking bullshit. It happens when I get nervous. Whose I promise. mouth is dry? All of our mouths are dry all the time. I, I, yeah, because you guys are shit all high. All of us no. are literally impounding no, no, no. in water all day, every day. When I get nervous, my ears get really warm and my mouth gets really dry. You're nervous right now? Yes. You are? Okay. <laughs> I think Olivia's sober. I'm going to give you a pass. All right. But I think you're high, but under okay. like I think you're high <laughs> underneath. But I'm gonna give you a pass. So I'm gonna say you're sober. Right. I think you're all high. Thank Walking you. I in. hope so. I feel like ah. Uh, watch, watch your step on that cable. Dan's warning everybody. <laughs> okay, interesting. I feel like you guys didn't smoke enough. Oh. I I wanted bong rips and dabs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I I can't. I can't handle the dabs. I've done it like twice in my life and it horrible. Like the way that you describe your experiences where you feel just awful, beyond that. That's what happens to me with the dabs. Yeah, the, it's, it's like the bong rips when I, that like is enough to put you in like paralysis for a week. And then they're like, no, we need to go beyond that. Yeah. Dabs. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, Zach, come over here. You've been talking a lot of uh, shit. You've been heckling glasses off. Come on. Cool guy. He put his glasses on to come sit. Mm. Glasses off. Hey, listen, um, <laughs> dude, Zach, you're such a character, bro. I love you. Love you too. Did you see that post on the subreddit about how you are the kind of guy to sleep with some kid's mom and call him Kiwasaba on the way out? <laughs> what was it? It was uh, Kiwasaba. Kimo 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 yeah. Kimo yeah. Cake. That was pretty funny. I do. Can someone pull that meme up? Because yeah, that was yeah. like exactly the most. The I, it had like 7,000 <laughs> points. I do have a kimono like that. So, I mean, like, I figure like it would be in a kimono or something, you know? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, is it hot in here? <laughs> look at this photo. The fo Oh, it has 10,000 points. Look at that photo. Look at all the and awards. And all the awards. Too. Zach is the type of guy to have casual sex with a 42-year-old woman and then come into the kitchen the next morning wearing one of her robes and refer to her tween-age son as Kimo Sabe as he grabs some OJ. <laughs> look at that photo, dude. You're a unit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about that? It's funny, man. What can I say? Do you smoke a lot? No, not really. No. No. You didn't strike me as one such. How often do you smoke? Maybe once a two weeks, once a month. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, uh, you dabble. Yeah, I dabble. What's your favorite like drug? Do you drink? Drug, uh, nicotine. 
nicotine, right? Yeah. Right. Maybe. Is your mouth dry right now? I mean, yeah, like everyone else. It's like, you know. Somehow everybody's got dry mouth here. He's a smoker. He has the best excuse out of everybody. In Minecraft. So, so let me ask you, what happened? Yeah, what's up? Would you rather have dinner? Why? Uh, who's your favorite, like, living person ever? Ethan Klein. Is it really? No, it's not. Tell me who's your favorite person. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Um, that's a tough one, man. Favorite musician. Oh, that's another tough okay, one. Okay, what's your guy? Uh, uh, what's, who's the guitar guy? The, the Van Halen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you rather have dinner with Van Halen? Rip to the goat. Or a million dollars? Probably dinner with Eddie. Really? Yeah. Think how many Rolexes you could have. Nah, dinner with Eddie would be cool. That'd be really cool. More than a million? Yeah. What if he doesn't even like you? It's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the same room as Eddie Van Halen, so. Yeah. It's like really hot in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. You think it's hotter here than it was at your desk? Yeah, I'm in the hot seat right now. Interesting. Yeah. Your eyes look like hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> God, do you feel different? Do you feel nervous? No. You feel okay? It's Lucy Goosey, baby. It's all love, right? Celine Dion. Why are we showing Celine Dion? I love Celine. A new day has come. Love Celine. Um, is hot dog a sandwich? Mm, no. Hot dog. Why is hot dog not a sandwich? It's like in a a bun with a bottom, right? Like it's like kind the of the bottom a, seals. Yeah. Also, I'm making a bold statement. If you put ketchup on your hot dog, there's something wrong with you. What? That's a lot of people. What do you what mean? Is this take? There's something wrong. That's not Chicago Midwest people, East Coast style right there. You it's know that I feel like the majority of people are putting that's not, that's, that's not worldwide style. It. You know? No, it's not. You got to put <laughs> relish. Every direction, no, I think, you got to put relish, pickle, onion, okay? None of the ketchup bullshit. Okay, Zach, you shit on people's grass. Yeah, and I'm shitting on their hot dog, too. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's not in the That's recipe offensive. you just said. Fuck y'all. Mm. Okay, um, so when you shit on the lawn that one time, did you, like, was your ass, there was there lots of shit in your, in your butthole? Yeah, but, um, um, Retelling. What's t what's twenty times eight? I'm not doing math. Today. Twenty times eight right now. <laughs> I fucking failed math. Five but, plus ten. Uh, Fifteen times five. Uh, thirty. <laughs> five times fifteen is thirty. Five times fifteen. Yeah. Oh shit. Let me look at my clock real quick. That's thirty. Fifty. Five times fifteen is fifty. Yeah. How? I don't know, dude. <laughs> And Chala, I don't know. <laughs> You're sweating right now. Yeah, I well, think Zach's high. Get out of here. <laughs> fucking five times 15 ass. Fucking 50. Get out of here. Musicians aren't, don't tend to be Ten, known five as Five times 15 is 50? What are you doing with the extra five? Well, yeah, didn't you say 30? You said 50. 50? Okay. Yeah. He was sweating, man. I saw the sweat come down his brow. <laughs> I, got I don't. Perma rosacea, so my face is always red. Yeah, it's more red than usual. You're, dude, you're legit. Like it's so hot in here. <laughs> yeah, you're sweating <laughs> balls. <laughs> All right, well, hold. I got a. T so I've got how many highs here? I've already said three people are high. You said I am high, and Cameron's high, and Zach is high. Olivia and Dan are sober. Oh my god, I feel like I'm getting everything wrong. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you have uh, both Sam and Ian left to do. Okay. Uh, Sam. Come on down. Sam. Sam's high. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even sat down. Sam, 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 Sam. Samantha? Sam. Is that your full name, though? Oh, yeah. Samantha is, yeah. Got it. Do you smoke a lot? No. <laughs> No, you don't? Mm -mm. Never. Is your mouth dry right now? No, not really. Okay, interesting. What is this? Is this for me? I got something here. It is a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog. Does this mean Stop. anything to you? <laughs> Stop. 
flashbacks. <laughs> this is traumatic. <laughs> like this. The Sonic movie. <laughs> hmm. What does this mean to you? I'm having PTSD right now. <laughs> He's. Did you, um, are you, uh, what do you want for lunch? I want in and out so bad. We can make that happen. in and out Canceled. Yeah, what are you going to order? The double. The double? The double. Cheese? French Cheese, fries? Cheese, pickles, onions, not grilled. I like it fresh, too. And animal style fries. Sam, you're high as fuck. <laughs> if you think that. What's what does this mean to you? <laughs> this is this is fucked up. Is it high? <laughs> Wait here. Is it high here or or um, was it just Zach? Is it hot here? I mean, it's hot. It's like I'm burning up right here. And um, <laughs> and um, like when you got when you were high during the Sonic movie, well, how did it how did it, did it feel anything like this or is this more mellow? It's starting to feel like this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> All right, Sam. Thank you. Oh Sam is high for sure. I'm calling it. And we are going to be getting in and out. So the only one left is Ian, right? That's right. All right, come out here, Ian. Mr. Slater. Ooh. Ian Slater. P and Ian. He's got his own song and everything. P and Ian. You got any antics planned? No, no antics. Okay. I'm a straight shooter Do you today. Often? No. Like, no. No, 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 no. Like, Sam, you are exhibit A. What does this mean to you, sir? <clears throat> Look at it. Look. It's pain. <laughs> it's pain. So you don't Sorrow. smoke. When was the last time you smoked? Was it the Sonic movie? <clears throat> okay, well, uh, when we first started... Coming up with this segment mm. out of curiosity, because I don't smoke ever, I thought, let me gauge a little to see how I handle weed. Yeah. Because I'm not used to it. And I took a couple hits the other day. Uh, this was maybe two, two weeks ago. And I remember I, I was in the bathroom for what felt like, like three hours, but then I came out and Sam was like, you're in there like 10 minutes. Mm. And, and I, I remember saying to her, I go, I think this is what our cat feels like. And, and she, how much did you smoke? I took a good, like, like seven or eight, like. <gasps> oh, that's a lot. Yeah. So how much did you smoke today? How many puffs? You're not putting me in that pitfall, my friend. Not today. Seven or eight puffs, huh? <clears throat> that's a pretty hearty hit. I was, I was feeling the vibe, man. Are you feeling the vibe today? Is it hot there or what? What's everyone complaining about? You know, about? I don't think it's that hot here, to be honest. Yeah. Are you hungry? I'm a little hungry. I'm a little peckish. Yeah? I'm a little peckish. What are you into? in and out or uh, Shake Shack? Well, after that, ugh, I'm conflicted on the in and out yeah, But I don't a... like Shake Shack. Why? Controversial. It's very greasy. I mean, I'll say that. It the... doesn't hit the same. I like in and out but their fries are such a disappointment. Do mm. you agree? The fries are a little boring. Yep. If yes, the Earth were a sim game, what would you change first? Can you repeat that? What's five times three? Fifteen. Ten plus ten. Twenty-five. Times seven. Uh, it's uh, one seventy-five. Twenty-five times seven. Yeah. Yeah, it's one seventy-five. <laughs> Ian's sober. He's sober. That's it. We can die. Uh, no, no, no. No, excuse you me. You locked more. it in? That's no, no, I'm not locked in. Sit back. Sit down. If you try and imagine a color that doesn't exist, what is it? Can you imagine a color that doesn't exist? I mean, that's hard. That's Why? a big ask. Why? <laughs> Why is it hard? Like, I just, well, hmm. Like, what is called? Should I call it? Give it a name? No. Why is it hard? Because they exist, they all exist. Okay, fair enough. But if I were to make a new one, I'd call it like sh shif shiffle. Shiffle? Shiffle. 
Okay. Is it related to purple at all? No, it's more of like a... It feels like a purple to me, like a purple variant. I'm getting kind of like a limeish blue. Mm-hmm. Are you going to uh, dinner tonight? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool, because I'll so see you there. Yeah. yeah, you'll be there? We're all going tonight. <sighs> I don't remember that open invite. <laughs> Dustin, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Did you feel shady outside smoking? Nah, it's cool out there. I don't know. I feel like Ian's sober, but I feel like I'm being tricked by everyone as well. But I think you're sober, Ian. All right. Compared to your other high stories, it sounds like you're losing your mind pretty much. Locked in. Locked in. Ian, ladies and gentlemen. P and Ian, it's time for the moment of truth. So... Let's start from the top. Um, Dan, I said you were not high, right? That is what you said. Dan was capable of doing math on the fly. He seemed like relatively fine. I had a hunch that he might be high. But ultimately, Dan, were you high or sober? Hi, baby. Uh, Let's go. I knew it. That's fucked up. How much did you smoke? I probably smoked the most out of anybody here. Tell me the truth. Well, it was a joint, but I got it started, and then it kept going out, and I was doing some some surgery on it. So I don't know. I probably puffed it like eight times, nine times. And how do you feel like in terms of your highness level? Very moderate. That's the, that's the, how am I supposed to guess when this guy's moderate out there? I need this guy blasted out of his mind. I need him dabbing to heaven. I think if anybody else had smoked as much as I did, they would be pretty blasted to heaven. Flex. I'm just my tolerance Weed flex. is pretty high. I don't. It's not even a flex. It's just, just is what it is. <laughs> love, you're oh, blasted. Shit. Love, dude. <laughs> love, what for the legal, hell, bro? For, uh, for legal reasons, you, I'm not in Sweden right now. <laughs> dude, look at his eyes. He's lit. All right, so one down. I had a feeling. I was like. I mean, you wanted to say everybody was high. I know, but I had a specific feeling about you because you were like, you tripped on that shit, I mean, goofy ass. I, I'm just a goofy ass. I don't know. I don't and know then also, we said rolling. I remember there was something high where we said rolling, and you said, "Are we going?" And I said, "We're like, no, not yet." And I was like, "He's high." Well, yeah, he because played I don't the video he had on his PC instead of ro- rolling the recording. Uh, yeah, you said rolling the video. I was like, dude, we always mean rolling recording. True, true. Okay, well, well, one wrong. Olivia seemed fine to me. She's a regular smoker. Did I say you were sober? You did. Okay, Olivia, reveal the truth to us. You're wrong. Oh my god, <laughs> you guys didn't smoke enough. It's mm-hmm. not my fault. I would argue that I actually did smoke a lot. Yeah, I think Olivia and I probably hit it the most. Because I also <clears throat> hit a pen. Well, yeah. Well. And so how are so, you feeling like on the high meter right now? I'm pretty I'm pretty, pretty there. Pretty toasted. Yeah. Ugh. God. <laughs> Do I keep it together that much? I think you kept it together really well. Really it's well. hard to tell because I, c- I couldn't tell if people were just nervous to be on camera right. oh, in the hot true. seat or if they were... When, whenever I get high... I um, will say something and then it'll echo in my head like 10 times as loud or as like extravagant as I had done it. And it's happening literally as I speak. (laughs) But you seem fine right now. That's just not how I'm perceiving myself, though. You know, damn it. I could have just screamed all of that. And I believe it. I, I should have just gone with the people that like I that are regular smokers. Well, there was a lot of thought put into this of yeah, of you guys who would and who wouldn't, and there there was some gamesmanship going on. Because in my, if I was on your side, I would just say, "There's no way I'm smoking on the show. Period. It's not happening." Right. Well, and you kind of followed the you you fell right into our trap. I gotta say, what, you, at least with what you were saying about me, because you were like, you seem responsible. Like even though you smoke all the time, it seems like in this situation, you would you know want to keep it together. And that was pretty much our thought process. We were like, Ethan's going to expect Dan to be high, but then he'll think he won't be because he... Wow, 5D chess over here. Fool me. All right, AB. 
AB, who's had traumatic weed experiences, you would expect him to say, hell no, I'm not doing it for the show, which is what I would do if I was in his shoes. Yet something seemed off. He was unable to do basic arithmetic. In my defense, it was like fast multiplication for me. But for Dan, the smartest guy in the office, you're like, what's 15 plus five? I'm like, what the fuck? You're a smart guy. I tossed all kinds of numbers. I mixed it up. Some easy, some hard. I'm no Dan. What you, you're snacking at this moment? You don't usually eat on camera. <laughs> okay, AB, are you high? I am blip. <laughs> yes, I got one. You did indeed. <laughs> you're doing pretty good. Surprisingly, because um, I smoked a lot. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, finally I got one right. Well, good for you for coming out on the show and, get, and getting litty, my, my titty. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Oh, yeah, what about Cam? Should we call him over? Yeah, Cam, come on. Uh, Cam, uh, come on down. Come on down. Uh, so I said Cam was high, right? You did. Yeah. Cam, regular smoker. I had a feeling this guy was high when he came out. Just immediately. It was just all over his face. Oh, yeah? But I could be wrong. So far, everybody's been high. So I don't know if this is the... Sh everyone's shitting on... It's gag. Right, that's the shtick. Cam, are you, are you high? Yes or no? I am sober as a judge right now. <laughs> yep. Which judge? Judge Judy. <laughs> Damn. Judge Klein. Judge Klein. God, I'm horrible at this. I swear, when I walked in, Cam, I don't know if you were trying to pretend like you are, but you were staring at me with a grin. <laughs> I, I think it's just that I'm nervous to be right next to you in the hot seat there, and I am just I have a dopey smile. So, I think I'm just yeah. too, my spidey senses are too tingly, and I'm just missing everywhere. Well, Cam exudes stoner energy, though. I think that's, love. I, I, don't even, I, I that's, think that's like, totally fair to say. Yeah. yeah, so. yeah. Did you smoke yesterday? Uh, no, but the day before that, I did. So technically, yeah. I'm right. It takes a THC seven days oh, to leave okay. the system. All right, Judge Klein. <laughs> All right, thank you, Cam. GG. GG. No re. <laughs> okay, so I've got one out of four right. I am terrible at this. Hopefully, <laughs> people watching are better. Oh, Sam, I'm dying to know. Sam, come on down. Sam, I need in and out you're high. Come on. Just <laughs> tell me the truth. I must confess, I, I am high. Yay! I got <laughs> another one. I would say you and AB definitely were the uh, my favorite hot seat guests. And <laughs> I was about to have a panic attack up there. I was worried. I was Not wor just because of Sonic. I, don't, I, I never smoke, and I was so scared to smoke a sativa. How do you feel now? You're okay? I had to go like... I'm not going to lie. I went and I sat on the floor in the bathroom for a second. <laughs> oh, that's what I was saying. I was like, I, I, she's having a panic attack in the bathroom. I, I went over. I was like, hey, how you doing? She's like, I got to throw up. Oh, <laughs> you still want the burgers, though? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Good. I don't want to make I don't want you to lose your appetite. Well, no, thank you for sorry. doing that for the show. Fantastic yes. showing. Legend. You held it together pretty good. I mean, I wasn't totally sure. Sam's playing it, yeah, Sam's playing it, really it down good. right now, but she was the pusher. She was the one who got all this stuff for us. So. Oh, you're the pusher man? You're the yeah. candy man? That's right. The candy woman? Thank you, Sam. Great job. I could tell she was high when she started talking about in and out She was so <laughs> passionate. She got lost in the burger description. Yeah, yeah. That was the calmest I've ever been up there. I just need to smell more. He said some yeah. stupid shit, but I felt calm. A new stoner is born. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. All right, so um, up next, we've got Zach. Come on down, Zach. So well, hold on. There's just one sober person so, so far. far. So far. Just Cameron. Mm -hmm. All right, Zachy. Let's see. Kibus Kiwasabi. Kiwasabi, my dude. Zach <laughs> is always on something, I feel like. Zach is just too much of a character to pin down. I'm high on life, dude. And are you also high on THC? I am. <laughs> I got that one right. Yeah. Okay. I'm, you did good. I'm stoned. And when, when I first, I took about three togs. And when I first did it, I'm like, started to feel the anxiety attack come on. 
like when we were outside and I'm like, oh, fuck, this is not going to be good. But then I started to mellow out. So it's it's all great. You did baby. great in the seat. It's all okay. great, baby. I could tell, though. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, people already think I'm always high because I'm just so giggly. But yeah, I'm, I'm high right now. <laughs> Are you, you you might have said I am weed. And when I asked you if you're high. <laughs> sure. We could go with that. Well done. And finally, we have Ian. I guess Ian's sober. Mm -hmm. I'm sober, man. Okay. Uh, you would have really fooled me because I was like, is this guy high or what's going on? But I'm glad I got that one right because that would have really surprised me. Well, we, we based had on all your these, previous experiences, we had all these questions to kind of, and then you made this new meta of like just mathematician over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, it's hard hard to navigate that, that one. That well, fucked me up, dude. Gotta, gotta, yeah, gotta get into those heads. Horrible at math. So that's it. That's no, that's no excuse for getting five, saying five <laughs> times 15 dude, is 50. I was in remedial math. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the, the weed was necessarily a factor. <laughs> well, it's just in, called stupidity right there. But <laughs> like, stupidity, but, you know, math is hard for some people. I'll tell you what time took. Five times 50? Well, you, you know, said fifteen or was it? 15? Yeah, wasn't it 15? five times fifteen? Sorry. Well, you know it's at least fifty because you know what five times ten is, right? Fifty. Yeah. Yeah, and so you have an extra five. Fifty-five. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I can't drive fifty-five, man. But I'm okay. You're good. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I don't blame me. Blame my fucking elementary school teachers, man. What's her name? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys did great. So, wh what was the final score? Uh, you got four correct and three wrong. What's so interesting bad, is that, and not bad, but what's interesting is there's only two sober people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of right. Everybody was high. That's not everybody. No, but except Zach and Cam. Well, Cam tricked the shit no, out of me. It was Ian and Cam. Yeah, I mean Ian and Cam. Are you, you guys sip something in mine? I know you guys sip something in my water. Room? All right, let's see how the rest of this show goes with all <laughs> with everyone blazed out of their mind. Wow, great job, guys! Thank you, thank you. Blaze Nash, Blaze Nash. Shout out to the island man, Rasta Pirate, Rasta Pirate Lion. Big up, big up, big up, booyah! I smoke two joints in the morning. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Booyah. I smoke two joints at night. Bop, bop, bop. Thank you. Is this racist? What are you doing right now? Is it? I don't know. I Shut I don't know. up for the island. Maybe a little bit. Weren't people mad at Chet for, for doing that? Well, I'm making fun of Chet. I agree. I'm, like, I'm not out there like... Making Jamaican my identity. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not transracial. <laughs> transracial. I'm not yeah. transracial. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Boop boop boop. <laughs> well, Zach's the I'm one like playing Jamaican music. I wouldn't know what to do if I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were you were singing Sublime, which uh, is definitely they're kind of like. No, that's a Bob Marley. Dan, song. correction, it is a Bob Marley yeah, song. What the hell's wrong with you? Joints? Yeah, it's a Bob Marley. You song. really think, think Sublime Marley wrote song. that? You want to bet? Well, I it's listen. I know it's a, I know it's a cover, but I don't think it's a Bob Marley cover. You want to bet? Oh my God! You're gonna question Zach's. It's definitely a Bob Marley cover, and even I know that, and I don't know shit about music. Who won uh, rock history here, Dan? <laughs> oh, Kiwasabi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Smoke Two Joints is a song originally written by the Toys. Yeah, made popular by Bob Marley. Oh. So he also did a cover. So it's not a Bob Marley song. Well, I mean, it's not a sublime song. The article. Never mind. Let's go just ahead, enjoy AB. The, go let's ahead. Just enjoy the vibe, guys. No, 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 no. The vibe is killed. AB. <laughs> <laughs> this song is often mistakenly attributed to Bob Marley over the internet. But yeah, but you know who didn't write it? Sublime. Fucking 90s ska. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys are both completely wrong. Marley had been dead for two years when this song was written. Bro, there is no Bob Marley okay, cover. Okay, fine. We're all still wrong. Releases songs, man. Wait, what? We're all wrong, man. Well, listen, I knew it was a cover, but I knew it wasn't a Bob Marley song. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go ahead, Zach. 
Actually? Yeah. Are you fucking high? <laughs> I think I am fucking high right now. The song was originally this. released in 1983. He died in 81. There's no Bob Marley version of that song? There is no... It says... The song was often mistakenly attributed to Bob Marley on internet and file sharing websites. So like oh. it's been a long running like urban or misunderstanding. Oh, it was mislabeled when was we were downloaded on, as, on, as teenagers. Uh, LimeWire. Yeah. yeah, Napster Fucking and Napster. shit. Napster. Well, I apologize for that one, Dan. Wow. That must be why Good everyone shit, thinks. Dan. I know my but Sublime hold on. and I but know my Bob Marley the phone. really well. You said so. it was Sublime, so well, listen, you got to pass the blame around. I Pass most the people, blunt around, most people like you and I who grew up in Southern California know that song from endlessly being played on the radio, the Sublime version. So it it was a fair assumption that no, you would I heard, be well, referencing the Sublime version. Did I misattribute version. it because of LimeWire or did I hear it on Listen, the radio? You were right. It's a cover. It's not a Sublime song. You were right. It's just, it's not a Bob Marley song. These are song. bad vibes, bro. Okay, yeah. you know what I was thinking We're of? crushing that? the vibes you know, here. You know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of I Shot the Sheriff. That's a Bob Marley song. That's I that is a Bob Marley. I yeah, shit on your lawn, but I did not poop in my car. What's your favorite uh, Bob Marley album, Zach? Me? Uh, probably Catch a Fire. Same, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Oh. Back to the good vibes. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah, bro. I shit on my neighbor's lawn, but I did not poop in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> wah wah wah. <laughs> Can this just be the whole show? <laughs> <laughs> just it, this is off the rails, Larry. man. This show is off we the mother love the rails. Off the rails. Just look at Zach. He's so blazed right now. <laughs> For real though, everybody go listen to Catch a Fire. Great album. Great album, Fantastic. dude. Fantastic. His first, right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't think it was the first, no. Okay, guys, this is a music trivia. Fucking recommend your favorite music time. <laughs> it was definitely an early album, though. Yeah. Peter Tosh was still in the group. Can we do a show, please? <laughs> rip, rip to the goat, my dude. Seriously. Tragic death. Yeah. Guys. Didn't Michael Jackson cover I Shot the Sheriff, or was it <laughs> Bob Marley first? Air, well, Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton, not Michael Jackson. Guys, we not have Michael an Jackson agenda here. We have a show oh, on the document. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're right. Let's talk about Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> well, no, unironically, let's do it because this shit is fucking great. Thank you, Dan. Turn the great. It's the re turn the reggae down. Okay. <laughs> turn the reggae down. It's it's off. It's off. It's off. We can have another reggae moment in a little bit. Okay. You guys can recommend your favorite tunes and okay. stuff. We have important information about this man. If you see this man, he is wanted. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, he is wanted for. We want him to drop the lawsuit. Yeah, he mm. is. He is wanted for. I can't get my finger right. And who's high? I can't point my finger right. Wait, go back. I think you might have got a little contact. <laughs> yeah, this guy. It's kind of flipped. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh it's flipped. Oh, it's oh, the Jamaican music. Bring it back. Oh, what's up? Drop the beat. Name your favorite Bob Marley song, <laughs> quick. <laughs> no woman, no cry. Exodus. Uh, Sublime. Uh, Sublime. <laughs> All right, cut the music. Play the music! <laughs> I was a little Isla boy <laughs> from the land of Jamaica. When I saw a grassy place, I pulled down my pants and took a steamy dump. Ha! Then I lit the smoky joint. Ooh! It made me want to poop again. <laughs> okay, enough. Is that, that racist? Th th that was very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that was very That's good. good. <laughs> I think you're high if you think that was good. <laughs> All right, so Emily D. Baker, more like Emily D. Baked. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Wish we had the air horn, you know. The... Oh, Zach, we, we should have horn. the air horn. We got yeah. the air horn around. This show is not going anywhere no. now. I feel like I'm high just from being around <laughs> you guys. All right. Thank you. So Emily D. Baker made a response to... Um, 
Triller responded to our motion. This whole thing is so stupid. We we made a motion to dismiss, and then they responded, and then we just posted a new response today. But their response, of course, is brilliant as always. Emily D. Baked. Uh, shout out to her. Friend of the show. We love her. Made a little... She made a very long video about it, going over it, but we did a super cut of her reacting to some of the finer points of their uh, response to our motion. So here it is for your enjoyment. This shit gets. Triller is a privately held company. Cool. Triller became aware of a inversion issue. <laughs> <laughs> Does Triller admit that it's flipped? Is that what's about to happen? It is what is happened. That what's happening? I'm so confused. They had they included a sworn testimony from their chief attorney, and, and he said there was an inversion issue on the dates from this to this. And I was like, "You all just tried to sue me for saying your shit was flipped." Yeah, you just said your shit had a, you had an invert. It was flipped. <laughs> you had an oh, inversion it's issue. Flipped. <laughs> your fucking shit is flipped. You literally just put it in a sworn testimony. What the fuck? Incredible. That what's happening? <laughs> um, this lawsuit's 30 times longer than the fight was. Yeah, and more entertaining, I would proffer. <laughs> it's my opinion. Oh, I think Triller admits that it's flipped. Okay. <laughs> On or about July 7th, 2021, Triller became aware of an inversion issue. <laughs> Yeah, your shit is flipped. <laughs> because yo, it was inverted. They've gone with said, the top yo, gun defense. Yo, Triller, my thing's inverted. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I just, y'all. I was, look, I looked, I looked at the, the chart that's coming up. I did not. <laughs> not look at this i was not i was not prepared <laughs> i was not prepared i was not prepared it's not flipped it's inverted uploaded tiktoks if you find something interesting from a reposted tiktok you have to leave the app go to tiktok search the username find the video you just watched hunt for a follow-up it's absolute trash i would not recommend this app to my enemy waste of time space on my phone and resources imagine trying to make a knockoff app and putting money into it how do you prove that that person is a fan of the H3 podcast? Yeah, so uh, I'll, we'll get to this. They pulled, they included in their complaint 200 pages of one-star reviews that they got. And they're saying that we have driven all of these. Look how long this complaint is, you guys. Look at this. T literally 200 pages. See at the bottom, it's a seven, eight. Look at this. Look at this. These are all one-star reviews that their app got and they're saying that it's all my fault that that they got all these one star reviews but they admit themselves the shit was flipped maybe somebody left a review because their app is unusable flipped trash like god forbid somebody has a bad experience on this fucking app and it's my fault Ugh, it's so awkward look at this i'm only on page 50 of 200 now they included all of this for the judge to read apparently here let's just read one at random let's see oh i'm going to have to open the document but the amount of work they put into this is embarrassing. Or maybe they maybe they have a way of pulling it and just pasting it. I don't know. Yeah, probably spreadsheet they were able to export or something. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. I mean, we were skimming through it, and we were seeing a lot that were just, like, just general Super bad generic. Like, yeah. this is a TikTok ripoff. One star. Yeah. I was like, bro, that, that's a commonly held um, opinion. Yep. And, like, if you guys want to go and give it a one star review, that's your prerogative. I mean, rate it whatever your heart tells you. It could be one or five stars. I mean, I personally wouldn't want to use an app that was just a rip up of TikTok. That'd be a one star for me. Flipped. And I would and give. It, and I would leave a review, and I did. Right. Personally speaking, that's fair. And they go, "Oh, they're laughing and snickering. No laughter. I'm saying this. I'm serious as a fucking heart attack. I'm saying this stone cold sober right now. <laughs> You're saying it's stoned. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> Okay, wait. No, I have to say this with a straight face because otherwise they'll add to the complaint that I was laughing. Right. Which proves that I'm trying to get everyone to go give them one star. 
give it a one star review right now if that's what you think this app deserves. I gave it a one star because I don't like the app. And frankly, I don't like the owner. That's an, enough reason to give it a one star. This guy. I mean, it's a public forum. It's like, it's not that serious. You know? People can have their opinions about your app, man. Sorry, bro. You're in the public space. Welcome to America. First Amendment, dipshit. Yep. Free speech for me, but not for thee. Yeah, we're only halfway through. Do you see all these complaints? <laughs> it's insane. They literally put this all in a fucking motion, bro. This is like the, the silliest shit I've ever seen. So I want to pull from it and read some. That is a legitimate criticism. The app is all re-uploaded TikToks and it's annoying. Okay. Wow. Trash Ethan app. Said also, me. Ryan Kavanaugh was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi a scheme. Anything, anything else you want to put on my lap? Your, your marriage fell apart. Is that my fault too, Ryan? How many divorces you on now? You want to put them all on me? Were the DUIs your fault? Mm-hmm. Two DUIs, Ryan. Those are both my fault. What else? Being sued by your nanny? Was it me that forced you not to pay her, Ryan? This fucking guy. Hard, fa hard pass, fam. Again, that was a news article. Forging a, a document accusing his ex-president of sexual assault so he didn't have to pay him um, Allegedly. a severance. That's fraud. Uh, um, allegedly. I'm too high to correct you, so yeah, allegedly. I believe that's... Well, that's what the judge said. That's what the, yeah. A judge at one point said that, yes. Yeah, so I'm just I'm paraphrasing what okay. the judge said. It's fucking fraudulent. Same with the Ponzi scheme. That's what Variety said. Later retracted. Right, they did... They did retract elements of that story. <laughs> How do you prove where they heard the news article from? How do you prove this to a jury? We're too high for this shit. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm uh, just thinking of yeah, being yelled at yeah. by your lawyer. AB's usually the point man on this. He goes, uh, "I'm I'm out. Send someone in in the in the fourth quarter." Is that what they say? <laughs> yep, I think so. What the fuck? What sport are you referring to, AB? <laughs> <laughs> Just send someone else saying, I'm on the, put me on the bench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, you, what, what sport are we doing? Uh, basketball. Basketball have halves, I think. But, no, they have quarters. <laughs> oh, they do? They have halves and yes. quarters. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm just exposed Great. myself. Just a complete TikTok ripoff, rip but without the entertainment. No one's on there. It's a dead app. Also, I heard the owner is accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme, yeah. and I'm not about to support yeah, that. Yeah, written by Variety. Kind of behavior. Um, yeah. Somebody's going to be like, yeah, I heard he also sold LuLaRoe. It's a joke. That's not a joke. Variety did write an article about how he was accused by his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. But anyway, let's open the complaint because they're desperate – to prove that all of these reviews, they are desperate for us to read these bad reviews, apparently, which is what we're going to do. Basically, that's what they've achieved. I mean, it's a public filing, so I have every right. I don't know. How do I? Do I have to download it, Dan? Like, it's so small. Oh, yeah, probably. Their court doc. Google Drive's a PDF viewer's not very good. Shit's flipped, dude. Shit's flipped. So it's pretty big for a fucking PDF because it's got like 200 pages. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I come from the island, man. I leave one star review on the Twitter page. Or five. Ryan Kavanaugh. If you come to the island and smoke, if you come to the island and get drunk, you go to jail. No we don't like drunk driving. Let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this. We floor. just smoke weed. And be happy every day. But if you come to the island and get drunk and drive, you go straight to jail. I don't know. Sorry. Apologies. Not no vibing. partner, no scheme. Hmm? No <laughs> partner, no, no scheme. <laughs> oh, yeah. How's that go? Uh, no, no partner, partner no, no scheme. scheme. I remember I remember up. coming from the Ponzi town Looking for a partner to scheme I couldn't find me no partner 
No partner, partner no, no scheme. scheme. <laughs> Then I picked up a bottle of rum And I drank myself silly Then I got in my car Drove his drunk and got pulled over My name is Ryan Kavanaugh Two DUIs at my doorstep <laughs> There you go <laughs> Do no. you DUIs at my doorstep? Lord, no, no, please No alcohol, no drive no walk a home, no, no drive. drive. <laughs> I, uh, my president come to me and say, Please, can I have a raise? I said, Well, my, my company's going bankrupt. So I falsely accuse you of sexual assault, uh, harassment. That's wrong. No, lying under oath. <laughs> Did it's like hey the baby sister. <laughs> this is the it's life and times of Ryan Kavanaugh. Good luck putting that in a complaint. Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> he look, I look. They say I look like Harvey Weinstein, but he's just a bloke to me. <laughs> no Ponzi, no scheme. They say I look like Harvey Weinstein, but that don't mean nothing. No Ponzi, no scheme. You know what's the difference between Ryan Kavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein? One's in jail, one's soon to be in jail. Oh. <laughs> For financial things, not sexual things. To be very clear. Oh, wait, which one's Ryan and which one's Harvey? Uh, the one on the right is Harvey. The one on the left is Ryan. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Harvey has not <laughs> aged well at all in prison. <laughs> prison has been hard on Harvey, man. Yeah. And Ryan. Uh, it's falling apart. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining they had this complaint. On screen, they put a picture of an orc and a picture of Harvey Weinstein, alleging that Ryan was the Harvey Weinstein and the orc is Harvey Weinstein, your honor. Defamation. All right, let's read some bad reviews. Here's the first one out of like 10,000. I had this app once and it was garbage. Recently heard they flipped it since then. Dumpster fire app. Straight out the gate. That could be anyone Sounds for any fun fucking reason. Right? Yeah. What the fuck? Si, sí, senor. Si, sí, senor? Y yes. You know what's interesting? In their um, breakdown of why um, it was flipped, they specifically say it was flipped on iOS devices where many of these complaints were from Android users and therefore could not have experienced the bug. Wow. Like they were trying to explain that. Wow. But look at these reviews that they included. They don't indicate what operating system any of these are on. Right. They don't even include that information. Yeah. They don't even it's have worthless. the evidence. Right. Which is the whole point. Their lo whole lawsuit is just, there's no, there's not, they don't even plead like, they don't even like plead basic information. Yeah. Here. Ponzi Cav, the user is. I was just chilling and then it just flipped. Okay, well, so we know that <laughs> Variety wrote an article about him running a Ponzi scheme. Right, yeah. So that explains the name. He probably read they that article. They could have heard about that. Yeah, they probably heard it from yeah. Variety. The same Variety. way we did it. Yeah. You guys heard of Variety? It's like a huge publication. Big trade paper. And then he, they admit that it was flipped. So why the fuck is that my fault? Let's skip go to page 10 billion. Here, page 11. I wish I could give Triller a rating of 0.25 stars. The app bombards you with information as soon as you open it. When I open Triller on my phone, I'm immediately confronted with the CEO of Triller, Ryan Kavanaugh, who's accused of running a Ponzi scheme by his ex-partner, Variety. He obviously read that article. The CEO of Triller, Ryan Kavanaugh, looks shockingly like Harvey Weinstein. I mean, that's just plain to see. Like, you... That's just plain to see. I mean, I don't know why you would put that on me. Um, whom has a personal ties with. Yeah, you see, I've seen pictures of them together. He has an overwhelming foot odor. See, I don't know anything about that. I don't know why, but I just smell feet when I open this app. 
I'd rather submit to the tyranny of Mark Zuckerberg and give Facebook complete control over my identity and self, sense of self, than use Trilla for even one second longer than I already have. Sorry that your app sucks, dude. Not my fucking fault. You know? Look at this. I sense a lawsuit coming from TikTok as this is a direct ripoff, except 10 times worse. One star. What does that have to do with me, your honor? Yeah, that's a common sentiment. It is a ripoff of TikTok. I mean, straight up. <laughs> yeah. And he was colluding with the Trumps. <laughs> well, that's probably something I should put an asterisk near. <laughs> Wait, when when Trump was trying to shut down TikTok, right. the only reason why anyone even gives a fuck about Triller. Yeah. And now all of a sudden he's like besties with the Trumps. Hmm. And also with Steve Munchen, apparently he's besties Min with <laughs> Minuchin, yeah. Yeah, Trump Minuch has Min no need to Minuchin these TikTok. nuts. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got him. <'em. laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe Thank you. A little slow on the job. Look, here's one. Ugh, so awkward. One star. That's Noah Beck! Play it, Zach! <laughs> He's quoting Noah Beck! I never said that! Ugh, Zach. so awkward. Thank you. Why is it so awkward? Yo, Triller, my thing's flipped. Their own fucking user. This isn't a- He owns portions of Triller, Noah Beck. Right? Ugh, it's so flipped. He may be a, yeah, I, he's an investor, He's right? in deep, man. Yeah. So your own people is saying one star. I'm checking now, just give me like 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, 200 pages of this shit. Let's go to the bottom. Let's see who got the last spot. Let's see here. All the way down, boys and girls. Um... The very last one here that they're pinning. See, this one even got two stars. Like, by the way, some of these have five stars. This is a five star review. You put in a five star review. You want to, so, 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 which so beautiful app for TikTok copy. That's the review from Madhav Gamer. Five stars. What the fuck, bruh? Someone want to explain that shit to me? That does seem like an oversight, does it not? So if I'm responsible for the one stars, then clearly I'm responsible for this five star review as well. This is I insane. Mean, you've consistently. Here's another five. Wait, 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 wait. Here's another one. This app is fantastic, and the videos also. It's a copy of TikTok, but wait, dude, look at the dates. Did you catch this? It says January nine. That was like way before any of this started, was it not? <laughs> I don't know. When was the Jake Paul fight? It was podcast? in like spring of this year. <laughs> this is such a right? this, It was April, I believe. Yes, yeah, so there's they included shit that was before you even knew anything about Triller or Ryan Kavanaugh. So basically this is a bad faith, the same shit they do. They dumping a bunch of shit here that like has nothing to do with me and uh, and trying to confuse the drug the judge big massive dump it's I mean, pathetic how could they fuck that up like they, they fuck up everything they're literally the just worse fucking lawyers no they're lit all they're trying to do is bleed me dry this is a spite lawsuit they're right. trying to waste as much money as possible it's crazy it's literally a spite lawsuit yeah. they call them dumps Aww. and then we have to respond to all this shit you know what i'm saying like here, this guy says the app is fantastic. I like it. Five star. Really? Wow. That's rough. Sorry you had to read that, Ryan. That was clearly my fault, right? <laughs> I'm sorry for I'm sorry for influencing people to like your app, dipshit. What an asshole. Yeah, so anyway, in, in, in honor of Ryan Kavanaugh. We actually, well, thanks to love, this is kind of a passion project of mine and loves, I'd say. Yeah. Yes. You guys really, really blew me away with this one. Well, there's been a lot of confusion about Ryan looking like Harvey Weinstein. How do we tell these two gentlemen apart? Um, I guess I shouldn't call Harvey a gentleman. 
I say I use that colloquially. So we made a website. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like HarveyWeinstein.com? You can visit it now. It's a comprehensive analysis. It's a public service. Oh, look at the mic flag on. Uh, yeah, it's a variety. Oh, so he has excellent. heard of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you have heard of variety, Ryan. <laughs> Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? The public is confused. Right. We asked 10,600 internet users if they thought Ryan Kavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein looked alike. The outcome was shocking. Now, this is a poll we did on the podcast July 30th. Now, nine. what is it? Uh, look, I mean, this is overwhelming. These are all look alike. I think do it not was approximately like. 95%. 90. Five percent think they yeah. looked alike. So clearly, I was, I was part of the five percent, which which means everything. Yeah, I'm I know not saying you, that he doesn't really. I know look you've like been that. holding out. Yeah. Five percent difference is astronomical. Yeah. So the public is confused. So now, basically, despite looking nearly identical, they are different people. So I just want this is basically I'm clearing the air for Ryan. Uh, clearing the air in the sense of you're making sure that he knows he's not Harvey Weinstein. Right, that they're, oh, I see. Well, oh. I don't know if people are like, yo, Harvey Weinstein, let's get him. Right, 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 right. When they see yeah, him that on could the street. Get, yeah, that's a good point. That could get dangerous. So just to be clear, this is the guy that's suing me. Mm-hmm, right. Who just, who just published that's 200 quick. pages of one-star and five-star reviews. <laughs> right. Before and after our, our, our copyright infringement. Yeah, right. And this is Harvey Weinstein. Alleged copyright infringement, by the way. Right. Wait. Well, well, the thing is, fair use is like copyright infringement. It's just legal copyright infringement. Can you I see. can you AB them again? I, I think I, I, don't I, know. I couldn't spot the. So this thing. is Ryan here. That's Ryan. This is Ryan, and That's, this is Harvey. Uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh, you are mistaken. I think it's. I think you're flipped. I think you. Oh, flipped. it's flipped. Yeah, okay. it's it's. Flipped. Wait, this is Ryan. That's that's Harvey. I don't know about this website clearing the air. Hold on, I think you need to scroll down. Wait, there's no confused. name key. There's we need names uh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm okay. Let's go down and maybe. Wait, wait, wait. you know what? It says right below there, Ryan and Harvey. So I'm going to assume the left is Ryan because his name is. This is on Ryan. The left. Oh, that's <laughs> Ryan. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go down. We can clear it up. Okay. 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 This is good. So here, Ryan is on the left and Harvey is on the right. So this is Ryan Kavanaugh. Okay. And then this is Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> right. And you can see the similarities. <laughs> <laughs> so does that help clear it up or is it still confusing? <laughs> yeah, no, that. Uh, I you, hope that helps. I hope that helps. Well, there's another one here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one is better. So this yeah. one, so they Ryan is on the right. This is Ryan. Uh-huh, right. And then this is Harvey. Mm-hmm. So you can really tell, you can see how similar they are. So that's Harvey Let's on the left. Let's look at the eyes. Yeah, you have to look at the name. Oh, okay. In the top right, it says Harvey. So Harvey's on the Which left? Which means if I move it to the right, it's Harvey. That's Harvey. Yeah. This is Harvey. <laughs> that's, you seem to be flipped once again. There's a lot I'm of, sorry. I, I'm, it's very, they've looked very but, similar. Okay, okay, I see. I see. So this is Harvey Weinstein. That's correct. Okay. This is Ryan Kavanaugh. Uh, now this website's going to help you got a it. lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. The public is confused. Yeah, they are. Well, uh, go ahead, love. You're the architect. Before that, I mean, it's very important that we let everyone know. So I just want to implore our fans and viewers to share this website on our Discord. Or no, sorry, on our Reddit. Mm-hmm. And just upvote all the posts with this link on it, and we we can all just vote up each other's posts. Yeah, I hear that. That helps yeah. the SEO a lot. Well, I want more people yeah. to see the website because the public is confused. Mm-hmm. And, one and you th- know, go ahead, love. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. Okay, so one more one more thing there. <laughs> when you try to find this website, don't write it in the address bar directly. Well, let it's me let me stop refused. you there, love. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. it's too long of a title yeah. to type right. directly into the URL. <laughs> Does Ryan Kavanaugh right. look like Harvey Weinstein? It'd be better to type it into Google in case there's a typo or something like that, right, love? That that clears everything up. There is no <laughs> issues. There's because the URL has to be exact, and that that's so hard. Right? To do. Yeah, it's a lot of words. Take up a page from from the Don Ark herself, Donna, and you know Google the website that you're trying to. Okay, go let me to do it right now. Typing it in. So like this: Does Ryan Kavanaugh look? Like Harvey Weinstein? Question mark. Yeah. 
Oh, see, you had a typo right there. That would have that would have thrown everything. Oh, on. so here wow. it is, number one. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's that easy. I had a typo. It wouldn't have worked. Right. So you just click this, and spend some time on the page reading it. Oh yeah, for sure. That's there's that's, good information here, which we'll get into. Yeah. So we get we did these side by sides. The public is confused. I said alarming. Something must be done. <laughs> and Noah Beck famously said, "My thing is flipped." Right. So, Those are two members of the public. Ugh, it's so flipped. <laughs> um, if you go here, it's just kind of a general... Oh, this is actually, if if you hover over, you will see the name. Right, so an you can take a guess you. before oh. you hover. I thought that was like memory. I thought that was Ryan's DUI right there, but I, that's Harvey, I guess. The one where he's being held uh, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's so Harvey. Oh, okay, hover, so the names are helpful. Guess. You know, Ethan and Love, I really have to thank you on behalf of the public for making such a... Uh, Beautiful. Well, thank you for saying that. We worked a lot. It was very it's an important project for us. You know we like to do charities. We like to do public uh, we're PSAs. Mm, uh, yes. So this is just a long line of our public services. Yes. Yeah. So in the top right, let's try the game. Top right, that looks like Harvey. Fuck, it's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have a ways to go. But uh, we can get gotta, better at it. I think study them like, you know, flash cards. Flash right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Go ahead. You want to try one? Yeah, the left. That's Harvey. Top left. That's Top Harvey. Top left. That's Harvey. Nope, that's Ryan. Damn it. I got to study, dude. That's Ryan. Uh, Ryan, Kevin, and Harvey Weinstein. The pictures below display a seemingly friendly relationship between the two former movie producers. So here, <laughs> we kind of just showed a little bit, just like, especially when you see them side by side, which you often did. How confusing it can be, um, as we've 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 uh, exemplified with the red markings here, circles. See, as Ryan looks at uh, with ad ador adoring eyes on Harvey. He, look at his attention. He has got full attention on Harvey here. <laughs> uh, look at these bodies. I mean, even going as far to kiss Harvey Weinstein on the head. Oh, wow. You know. Yeah, you know, this might. This might just be the weed talking, but I don't. I don't see the resemblance. Are you fucking well, hungry, bro? I mean, that's fine. I wish. I wish my my objective with this website is to have more people relating with your perspective yeah. than vice versa. Right. So you're an example of this website working, Dan. So you must have high. I did spend facial, a lot of time on it. Yeah. You must have like high facial awareness. Yeah. Because have you heard of like face blindness where people can't tell the difference? Right. I have the condition that's the opposite of that. Yeah. You have high facial awareness. I have that. Yeah. I feel like I see James Charles just everywhere, everywhere I go. <laughs> right. True. Yeah. That's true. So we wrote up a little bit about um, Orion, bio a biography. Mm -hmm. Oh, he. But so this is just there's a big unibrow here we added. And it yeah. says this image mm -hmm. is altered so you can tell Ryan apart from Harvey easier. Mm. Yeah. So this is not. We added this. This was insane. Unibrow, Ryan Kavanaugh. Also, do, all, do all of the images of Ryan Kavanaugh have a unibrow then? Just this one. Hmm. I'm not Maybe really sure how that a future helps. Future. Yeah, okay. Maybe well, when you see the whole body, is Anyway, let me read his, his biography. Yeah. Ryan Kavanaugh is an American film producer and film financer. He is the founder and former CEO of now bankrupt Relativity Media. This studio was the third largest mini major... Jesus, how many how are you going to... It's like... Third largest mini major studio. A lot of qualifiers there. Yeah. Before bankruptcy hit back in 2015. Some uh, speculate that the bankruptcy was due to poor management. Now he's the CEO. Or I guess majority owner of Triller. I guess it uh, would be more accurate. Hmm. Ryan Kavanaugh is also the owner, CEO, and brain behind the app, website, and brand Triller. Triller is a video sharing platform similar to TikTok. Uh, the platform has recently garnered an increase in downloads because of prominent podcast H3 Podcast has promoted it. Mm. And actually, maybe what we should add, Love, is that it's it's been it has had five star reviews attributed to the H3 Podcast, oh, yeah. such as, and then you can include those ones in the complaint they showed. Yes, I'll, I'll add that for sure. <laughs> it seems like yeah, very important. Um, the platform is not as giant as its rival TikTok, but it does have major names such as Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. Oh, you did the same typo as they had, right? Oh, that's a mistake, yeah. Justin Bieber, 
Josh Richards, Noah Beck. Oh, not Kevin Hart. He's been removed. Tyga, Sway T, and The Weeknd. The, the Weeknd also, also spelled wrong. Ryan, Ka so there's a little bit about Ryan. Uh, he actually has DUIs. In October 2008, <laughs> while still on probation for an earlier conviction for a DUI, Kavanaugh was arrested for drunk driving, speeding, and driving with a suspended license from an earlier conviction for DUI. Sounds bad. Uh, that was in 2008. In 2018, he w lied under oath. Hmm. 2018 claims of sexual harassment from seven women at Relativity against former Relativity co-president Adam Fields was found to have been the result of fraudulent uh, mem me memorandum, memorandum drafted according to the arbiter judge Terry Friedman by Relativity CEO Ryan Kavanaugh himself. The attorney who Kavanaugh testified, who uh, testified, authored the memo, denied authoring the memo during her deposition and was not employed by Relativity when it was created. As a result, the, ar the arbiter awarded Fields $8.44 million. After a forensic audit on the computer was conducted, it was found that the memo had been generated from someone who signed it as Cav Cav. A curious clue as to the uh, memo's author. Kavanaugh, Cav Cav. Ponzi scheme, 2019. One year later. 2019, Elon Spar signed a complaint under oath alleging that Kavanaugh persuaded him to go into business together under false pretense. The suit, however, was resolved out of court. This story was covered in June 7th, 2019 Variety article, Ryan, uh, Ryan Kavanaugh accused by ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. Do we need to make any amendments to this? I don't know what your lawyer say. I can't talk about what my lawyer said. Okay. It's uh, privileged. Fair enough. I think our audience has heard uh, of these stories once or twice before on the show. Well, I don't know if we need to read it in excruciating <laughs> detail. Well, really? I find it fascinating. Okay. That's, well, what it's I, up to you. Yeah, I mean, Kavanaugh, he stiffed his babysitter. Mm -hmm. She had to sue him for 175000 after oh. he abruptly fired her two months into a 13-month contract. Um, anyway, you can read it, that and more. We're constantly updating the website, right, love? Yes, yes, all the time, yeah. So I guess if fans want to like write texts and stuff, or or uh, like original text, maybe that we could add that and stuff. Maybe a, oh, who knows? Fan submitted content. Well, we'll have to vet it first, yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll to make sure yeah. it's factual. Suggestion box or Absolutely. something. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Google it. And uh, just shout out for this huge public service. And I was going to give myself a pat on the Very back. Very impressive, Love. guys. Very impressive. Love, Ethan. You guys really put together something special here. Thank you so much. Well, the food is here. And I know you all got munchies. It is. And we've also been going for a little over two hours. Oh, shit. So let's wrap it up. Hope you guys had fun. We're about to get some boigas. And uh, we'll see you guys on uh, on uh, Little Friday. That's right. Thank <laughs> you.